You see the guy that beat all seven Souls games, no hit? Yes, sir. The God Run 3. With your sub Sin Pie and Artist. And the five gift subs FedEx. Thank you for that. And the Prime Slip. And the Prime Satan and Risa Blake. And tier 1 Big Boy Bin. We finished the Ragnarok post game. Not yet, just been chipping away at it. Not rushing through it or anything for all the side quests. Already played the new Dark Pictures game. I don't know if Jackson and I will ever beat it. I'd like to, even though the game is beyond broken, but it was damn near unplayably broken. We need to sub DJ and kick and the resub monkey. Watch the B-17 crash in Dallas. Why would I do that? I already saw the clip. It's fucking horrifying. Super sad. Thanks, you some veteran. Exclusive one. And there is some Furious and Himothy. You don't agree with my opinion on the card drama? I don't see how you defend it. It's the price point that's the problem. Like I said, the idea of it's fine, but a thousand dollars for four packs of not even real cards? How do you even defend that? The Risa, Mina, Ryan, and the Prime 9. Did you ever realize the fake Drake season desist was fake? No, was it really fake? That's interesting. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. It's still a remarkably sad story of that guy who built his entire life around just trying to look like Drake. Things that give sub swiggity. And the resub nully. Have you seen the controversy over the Callisto protocol that some deaf animations are behind a paywall? No, it's the first I've heard of that. What? They paywall death animations in Callisto? That's a really weird idea. I I think it's silly, but I also don't think that's a big deal. Like, I just won't pay for those death animations. That's a very weird thing. That, that seems like a made-up statement. That doesn't even seem real. The resub no chill and the prime snorky and give sub buckeye and the bits magnus and terrible. It's just in the season pass, it's not available at launch. Gotcha. Like I said, that doesn't really bother me. It doesn't seem like a game-changing thing, just having a couple extra death animations. It just seems like a silly thing to even charge for, though. I 
Like the resub sarcasm, wisteria, hydra, god awful, and the prime carrot. Thanks to the prime snake. Talking about Hasbro dying? No, 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 no. We talked about this last night. I still just have it pulled up from last night is all. I already talked about it. Thanks to the resub 360. And the prime havoc. <laughs> Let's give some swiggity. And resub 60. You hear about the new Minecraft cheater getting caught? I haven't watched the video yet from Carl. But yeah, I saw he posted it. I just haven't checked it out yet. I'll watch it on my own at some point. Thanks to Resub, DOA, and Sully. Happy birthday, Phil. <laughs> Have you heard the story of the 85-year-old ladies... Of the 85-year-old lady's Marilyn Olive Garden review that broke the internet. That sounds like a BuzzFeed title. No, I don't know what you're talking about. And I didn't give it much thought, Gage. It's just a couple other names were taken. Thanks to Resub, Brie. Thank you, Risa Brando. And the Prime Zire. And Bit Zero Pain. And the Prime Mustang. Yeah, I've talked about the established title stuff. It's been like three days now, so of course I've talked about it. That was big news. Thanks, Resub Doodlebird. Thanks, the Resub Pliers. Did you see the leak that all female artists' music are written by the same three men? I don't know what you're referring to, but that's that extends to the entire pop industry. There's one guy, his name's Max Martin, and he writes pretty much every chart-topping song out there. That's not like a, a huge leak or anything. It's well-known. He writes pretty much every number one hit that you've ever heard. Or can I just get like a whole list of his number ones? Oh. This is, this is the list of some of the number ones. I guess they don't all hit number one, but most of them do. It's like this in the entire music industry. It's not just every female artist or whatever the leak says. It's like every artist in general. Thanks to the resub specialist bullet, Sparky, Satan, Thrash, and MK, and Zoink. Some guy also writes all of BTS music. I've said this on stream like five times, I'll say it again. A friend of mine from high school writes a lot of the K-pop number one songs. Well, I guess they're not all, again. I'm exaggerating when I say they're all number ones. A buddy of mine writes a lot of K-pop's biggest songs, like he writes for twice. 
I, I've talked about that quite a bit. So yeah, I, I'm well aware of how that works in the music industry. Is the prime Kev? They don't like hide it either. Like he is credited for his work, as is Max Martin. I think just a lot of fans don't really like to look too deep into it, so they just assume their favorite artist writes their own music. But in the mainstream music industry. That's just not the case. It's not like a huge revelation, I don't think. There's a reset Alex and Quiet. Do you write your music? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think there's any self-respecting ghostwriter that would have written something like 2019 Guy or Sky Nut. A cuck core anthem and then a song about robots from the future that come back to steal our cum. Like, I, th th those are all from my, my noodle up here. Troy writes all the music, I write the lyrics. when we get a new album we're actually working on it right now so we'll, we'll release a like one or two singles then an ep then more music videos it, kind of the same way we did it last time so it'll be soon hopefully by the end of the year there's Reese of jackson and 90s nostalgia or 90s nostalgia Christmas album coming? No. It's it's not really a Christmas album or anything like that. It's the bit Tammy. More God Slap soon. Issue two, December seventh. Yes, sir. How did the DJ Khaled closet booking go? Not live yet. I'm surprised you don't talk about it more. What? The music we make? The Gentlemen? I talk about it when it comes up. I, I don't bring it up out of nowhere. I also think it's always really enjoyable that a lot of those tracks end up in Spotify playlists and people will hear them and have no idea it's us. And then eventually they decide to look at the music video and they're like, what the fuck? Especially for Skynet in particular. Thanks to Risa Burrell. Who's the resub sky? Who plays the instruments for your band? Troy. I met Troy because I was a fan of his project Soul State. I didn't realize it was a like just him in Soul State. I really liked his music. And he ended up reaching out because I 
was talking about his music and it was in one of my public playlists and then we just became friends and worked on music together. There's a gift sub, homie. You should practice singing so you don't need auto-tune. It's actually not auto-tune. I'm not a good singer, but it's not auto-tune either. It's just slight tweaks to actually make the notes hit harder. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a good singer. There's the resub Lola. So manual tune, yeah, just not auto tune. Thanks, Eri Sub Saiyan. It's Melodyne? I don't know, maybe. Thanks to the bits, no chill. Manual tune's fine, almost all music is manually tuned. Well, yeah, it's part of the mixing and mastering. I brought this up on stream. Uh, I've only been to a few concerts in my life. And most like, so I went to a T.I. concert. He sounded very different than he does on his tracks. Like, T.I. on his tracks is, like, really deep, very bassy. In real life, it felt like like someone went up and started doing karaoke. And it's like that for pretty much every concert I've been to, except Young Gravy and Baby No Money. They actually sound exactly the same in real life as they do on their tracks, but aside from them, it's always super different from all of the concerts I've been to. And then I was I tried to listen to some of the tracks from um, When We Were Young tour, so like My Chemical Romance, When We Were Young, which was recent, and I was blown away by how far it sounded from, like, the actual album track. Can't see you at a TI concert. It was a free concert at USF. E even when I went, this was, like, 2017? No. 2015? Even then, TI had kind of fallen out of popularity. So he was doing a free concert at USF. Gerard isn't going to sound the same way he used to 15 years ago. Yeah, maybe not a great example. It's just every concert I've heard is so different live. Thanks, Risa, Mudkip, and Trer, and Donkey, and Scoopy. Isn't that kind of a given, though? Yeah, I guess. I just never expected it to be so different. One band that I've, I've never saw live, unfortunately, but I used to have, like, their live DVDs when they used to do, like, live from Texas Linkin Park DVDs. Linkin Park sounded great live, apparently. Those concerts were such a fucking chaotic fest of fun, it seemed. And they sounded amazing live. So I definitely think it's just, I guess, when you see them, like, on any given day, they might sound better than some other concert. I don't really know. Thanks, you said Pasco. Resub Geo. I, oh, this is it. I love this shit. I have some super niche drama that happened in the custom Lego community. Hit me. I love that really obscure drama that maybe only involves a, 
a handful of people in a small community. I always find it so interesting. And what is a custom Lego community? Like the Lego bricks are custom or their builds? Things mm -hmm. resub nuclear dead meme launch in the prime peanut butter. Where is the scoop? Thanks, Resub Johnny. Have you seen the Tummy Why show? Yeah, so Tummy was owed, is looping some of his old content on Twitch again, and a lot of people thought it was live and new stuff. That's pretty old from Tommy. That was back in like 2012 or something. 2011, 2012. Everything I saw is still, like, his old content that he's just pumping on Twitch again. Maybe he'll start doing new stuff. Maybe that's the signal. There's the resub Kev, Johnny in the Prime, Amino, oh, Omen, and the Give Sub Swab. And Tsunami, or not Swab, Jack, and the Prime Dingy. Man, where the fuck is this Lego scoop? Goddamn. Oh, is this it? Oh, okay. There's a company known as Brick Arms that makes guns, and a huge reseller in the USA known as Eclipse Graphics was cut off because they bought a competitor of Brick Arms, and the whole community is split. That's the Cliff Notes. What? A com There's a company known as Brick Arms that makes guns. Lego guns, I'm guessing. Hence the name Brick Arms. And a huge reseller known as Eclip Eclipse Graphics was cut off because they bought a competitor of Brick Arms. I, why would that even lead to drama? So if Eclipse already has another competing brand making Lego guns, why does it matter if they're cut off? They'll just go to that competitor now. Also, what the fuck does a, like Lego guns look like? Updated Brick Arms collection. Hey guys, KS12 Productions back here with another video. Today I'm going to be going over my updated Brick Arms collection. In so let's get right into it. I don't know why in my head when I heard that, like when I read that, I expected it to be full-sized Lego guns. So these are just like additional supplementary pieces for your Lego figurines then. Custom guns for them. Starting off on the right side, I have all of my explosives. These are RPGs, bazookas. Okay, this is actually so wholesome, though. And I did have them out, and they're just on my figures. This one. And then over here, I have my... Machine guns. Um, like, bigger guns, so this yeah, is like... the light machine guns. Uh, DSHK, I, I believe. But shit, that's that's interesting. Yeah, so that's that's wacky drama. I thought it was gonna be something a little juicier than that. So, Eclipse Graphics, a reseller in the U.S., bought from a competitor of Brick Arms, and Brick Arms put the kibosh on their partnership. Things are said, Braden. Oracle and the gifts of Johnny and the Prime Brandon and Tier One Little Rue. He did say niche. And true, I guess. I just expected like a little uh, spicier stuff. Uh, 
Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, Kaze. Is there resub, Steve? There's a prime thermos. Uh, I haven't seen her. Is she downstairs? No, I didn't see her down there either. What happened? Is it tier one, Kaze? Oh, she was playing with the tree. I didn't see she knocked off another snowflake. Yeah, she really likes the tree. Thanks, Reese, Tyler, Nuke, and Tier 1 Kaze. Playing with this one? Yeah, she likes it. Don't let her bite me. Yeah, I know. I wasn't letting her. She kept trying, though. Yeah, I'm caught up on my hero. Oh, I'm one episode behind in my hero season six. It's the first decent season the show's had in like fucking three or four years now, so that's cool. There's one guy in the Lego Ninjago community who clickbaits. He's a dick and has posters of young anime girls in bikinis. <laughs> Is that the spiciest drama in the Lego community? So you guys have a, a weeb. Thanks to the resub. Argus, Loser, and Shurg. You caught up with Two Year Eternity. One episode behind on that as well. Thanks to resub Sinka. You ever watch Cowboy Bebop? Still not yet. This is it Prime Koji. Lots on the new Warzone. Uh, the few times that I actually got into a playable lobby, I had fun. I've seen a lot of complaining from like higher level players on Twitter. And it's hard to disagree with them with the time to kill. I guess I didn't notice it because I didn't get super in to the last Warzone. But it really is almost instant time to kill. Like, the second you fire on someone, they die. Within one second at most. So I can see why a lot of people are kind of upset about it. These are the uh, give sub skull and the bits Ragna. And the prime blorp and resub Ethan the bits again rag. Hear about EDP popping up on TikTok? I already talked about that. I'm not surprised. I I I said it before, I'll say it again. He is just this parasite that'll constantly just poke out again for however brief a period before getting banned off whatever platform he flocks to. He's just too addicted to the online presence. I compared him to that bacteria that can survive in any condition like a volcano in space. I'm already bl blanking on the name again. I think it's a tardigard. But that's EDP, man. He just always somehow comes back for a short period of time, gets banned, comes back. Over and over and over and over again. Oh, it's hard to grade. Not even a bacteria? What is it? I thought it was a bacteria. Water bears. Yeah, that's what people call them, but what, like, what actually is it? It's just a microorganism? Gotcha. Thanks to the Prime Hunter and the Resub Chaotic.
Did you hear Elon would release his smartphone if Apple and Google remove Twitter from the App Store? No, but that's such a worthless threat. Like, <laughs> I have no doubt that he might try a smartphone, but Cybertruck, full, fully autonomous driving, all of that, he has been promising for fucking years. I don't think he would uh, release it anytime soon. Yes, I could be wrong. Oh, also the Hyperloop. Was in the Hyperloop a scam? So, uh, apparently the Hyperloop, like, is slash was real. But the reason he was talking about the Hyperloop in California is because he didn't want them to actually work on public transportation, which is such a douchey thing to do. So he had no plans to ever actually finish the Hyperloop for Cali in particular. He just wanted them to not spend resources on public transportation. Why? I mean, the reason should be obvious. He's, he's in the car manufacturing business. The more public transportation there is, the less reason there is for cars. So the idea, I guess, would be with public transportation can, like still eating shit, people are going to need cars and they might go to Tesla. Proof. Oh, he said it. What? No, he he said, I had talked about this when it happened. This was way before he bought Twitter. He said he had no plans of ever building the Hyperloop in Cali. Where was it? it was, was it in August? I don't remember when he came out and just talked about it. it might have been August. I thought it was earlier. Jesus, is he still talking about it? This was like a piece about why it probably wouldn't work, but he came out and talked about it, and I guess it must have been in August. I really thought it was earlier, though. But yeah, it's not like a, a secret or a conspiracy. Isn't there one in Vegas? Yeah, like I said, it's like a thing. His slash was a thing. It's just he had no plans for California. Yeah, going to the second page was bold. He talked about it in a tweet. I thought he gave an interview about it. But there's been so much going on, I might just be crossing wires. Is the resub Reese's and Poop King and Elevated and Mike? Bro made a tunnel. You're talking about his Vegas tunnel. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that shit. Th this seems so dumb. Uh, is it called the Hyperloop in Vegas though? I thought it had a different name. Is it just called the Boring Tunnel? But yeah, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> as far as I know, maybe some Las Vegas residents can correct me if I'm wrong. It just, it, it doesn't have a use. It legitimately doesn't have a fucking purpose. It is worthless from everything I've read about it. Maybe there's Vegas residents in chat that can correct me if that's misplaced or just like a wrong hit piece, but... Everything I've read points to this being a fucking worthless tunnel.
this vibe though. <laughs> the music is making it seem like a cool little Disney ride. Thanks to Tier 1 Sensei, and the resub Mello, and the Prime Emily, and the 5 gift subs Fiad. Thank you for that. No, I don't think I've seen that one, Turtle. No, I'm pretty sure it does have an emergency exit because obviously, just looking at this, the number one question people would ask is what happens if, say, a car fucking hits the side, gets stuck, then what? Or, you know, any, any reason for a traffic jam, you're just kind of fucked. How do you even get there? So I'm pretty sure there is some kind of emergency access point. It doesn't. No, it's, there's no way. It has to. Like, there's, there's no shot that would get built without one. Is there really no information about it? Hmm. Okay. There's a resub mook. Only has three exits, that's it. Oh, here we go. The Boring Company has touted its safety features of the loops. The company's website says that the tunnel has no internal touch hazards, e.g. a 600-volt third rail, enabling safe evacuation, minimizing potential fire sources, and eliminating any dangerous effects of unlikely water intrusion. So does that mean in the event of an emergency, the, the play is to get out and walk? Enabling safe evacuation. I'm guessing that's on foot. That's... It just seems silly, but whatever. Thanks to the resub toaster. Apparently no one uses it anyway, so it's not really a concern anyone should even have. It's just dead on arrival. Here's the resub, Rob. How would you breathe if a fire happened? Bro, I, you are asking questions I have no fucking idea the answer to. Maybe you pay for Twitter blue and an oxygen mask will drop down in your Tesla. I, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Thanks to the five gift subs, Nimboki. Thank you for that. I did see that headline pizza. I didn't look into it, though. He always has the best roasts. I am so tired of people giving Elon Musk credit for his roasts. He steals those tweets, goddammit. That tweet everyone patted his ass for about uh, Kathy Griffin, where uh, she got banned, and then when he reinstate or when he was talking about the ban... He said it wasn't for... Fuck, what was it? Oh, he said Kathy Griffin was banned for impersonating a comedian. He stole that from the top up comment in a thread that was talking about Kathy Griffin that Elon Musk was tagged in. I saw it three hours before Elon tweeted it. He fucking stole it. He steals all of his roasts. He was talking about you. Oh, that's so sweet. I thought you were talking about Elon. He gets way too much credit for his roasts. He literally steals the tweets. It was good, though. Oh, no, no, like, the cat... I don't know Kathy Griffin. But, like, that tweet that he stole was actually, like, it was clever. Like, that was a fine joke. 
Elon stealing it is just dog shit. It's, don't give Elon the credit. Give credit to the guy who came up with the joke. Elon's like the Amy Schumer of Twitter. He's a prime, Gabe. And he does that for so many of his fucking tweets. I'm going to give him credit to spite you. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's your prerogative. It's whatever, man. Things are resub Troy and Cam. Biggest Minecraft cheater. Yeah, we just talked about that. I haven't seen the Carl video on him yet. That's something I'll watch later on my own. I'm always so interested in stuff like that. Looks <sighs> like a huge cock. Check out the cops video with the drone. What's it called? I'll check it out. Do I listen to the band Era? Yep. Thanks, Resub Troid. Thanks, the Prime Peeps. Thanks, a bit Sensei. And fuck yeah. I will scream it to the high heavens. Perkins has the best breakfast. Well, that's so exaggeratory. Perkins has the best pancakes. Their potato pancakes are unreal. It's such a sleeper hit. Those potato pancakes are amazing. Cop season three, episode ten, intruder alert. Oh, is this from actually the just like the actual core cops show? <laughs> this. I don't really want to watch. This, this seems like an actual serious case. I look for more of the goofy shit. What are you talking about with like a drone? The first part is goofy. Of this? Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> I forgot they brought cops back. Yeah, this used to be all G4 TV used to run. You guys, stay inside. Somebody jump in fences. Slow down, slow down. Stay right here. Hold your position. We got them locked down. Uh, so we're looking for a uh, black male adult, early 20s. It looked like he had a white shirt on, short afro. And that's just what I saw from him as he uh, jumped the fence. So when do they bring this drone out? At least two houses to hit to come north. Not yet. He hasn't broke. Uh, we're getting flagged down by one of the residents that the suspect might be in their backyard. I heard someone trying to get in my house. Perfect. All right, I'll have you uh, just hang out on the other side of the street. <laughs> The UAV is on top of him. Uh, he's still on the move and he's moving west now. The UAV. My guy, this is like what I got my dad for Christmas three years ago. I thought he'd like a drone. He ended up not liking it. But this this is not really like a UAV. It, this is a store-bought sharper image drone. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is, man. We don't need these like Call of Duty terms. This is not like a... I don't think this is like a standard issue UAV top of him uh, he's still on the move and he's moving westbound he's just jumping fences 
It is effective, though. Seems to be jumping back and forth, and this suspect has a uh, confirmed felony warrant uh, for ARM 211. In between the trees, in between the trees. Back up to... This is a wacky angle. It reminds me of like GTA 2. Subject in the rear yard. If you don't surrender, I'm gonna send him my dog. So we're kind of just following our drone. Why are you on his? Why are you on that guy's roof? That's not. That's not even like helpful. So it sounds like the suspect may have uh, entered this residence. So we got two females inside this house with the suspect. Or any other occupants in the house? And our dispatcher's landline with them to give them instructions. Hey, 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 I got a match here. Pop your window, ma'am. You're good. Okay, come on, guys, come on. Two exits out of the room to the window. Fahimi, you want to take them? No, I need Fahimi here. Thank you. Uh, make them Luckily, we have the UAV still online. So the two residents uh, who live at this house are uh, safely removed from the residence. Oh well, now now the goddamn UAV is just redundant. We got the chopper out too. In the front, um, and the plan is to breach the front door and uh, send the robot in. The robot has a camera. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> this, what department is this? This is so high tech. Did the producers for the cops TV show just give them all like cutting edge tech they found at Best Buy? They gave them like a tiny little drone. Now this, like an iPad with a controller. This is very like, like future warfare stuff here. Next to uh, the dryer, and we just lost sight. It's the garage. We went entered back into the garage. There he is, right there. There he is, there he is. <laughs> what? What, do, what are we using right now? Oh! Interesting counterplay. But luckily, we chilled out a little extra bucks for the waterproof model. Also, why throw water at it? You could have just walked up and slapped it. Or hit it with a pot. Oh, the dog's confused. It's going for stuffed animals. Well, it looks like the dog worked. Where are you injured at? No. You got any weapons on you at all? That was kind of... All right, you were right. That was kind of wacky. I, I don't really see what the point of that robot in the house was. I could see the drone being useful if the chopper's, you know, maybe a little too expensive and they might be busy. But I can't wrap my head around why they'd throw in, like, a little remote-controlled car cam when they still threw in the dog anyway. Why did he throw water at it? To try and short-circuit it? I don't know. <laughs> to make sure it's safe. True, I guess, but they had the door open. They like they still just had the door wide it opened and they were watching him from outside cuz he was in the kitchen. So you could hear the cops talking to him. So they were literally looking at him with their own eyes. Links to the resub, or the prime soda and the resub, Jock, Zini, Marijuana, Slum, Martin, and the prime Austin. And the resub saint. And the bits turtle and Mac. Yeah, that, that was nice, turtle. Thank you for that. We've seen that one, Mac. Very clearly a staged video. It could be. I've always wondered if they do stage things like that. I, I I like to imagine probably not, but it wouldn't be surprising to learn it was staged either.
There's the resub shack. There's 34 seasons of cops. Yeah, like I said, man, this used to be all G4 TV used to run back when they were in their death throes. Well, even in their heyday, too, they had a lot of cops. These are the resub Jake and Shaq. When they didn't view bot? Who? G4? Bro, if you think G4 is view botting, man, I've got some news for you. Like this, <laughs> this would be, they'd need their money back if they're view botting these numbers. And G4 just got shut down again. Is the resub Shep? And the resub top five and Javier. My neighborhood tweaker was on cops. Oh, that's hype. Did they release him like from jail? Did you get to see him again and say like, hey, good work out there? Fun episode. Thanks, the resub. Donkey dude in Dane. I feel like you'd like the Australian man we... What? Oh, I thought you were talking about cops. You are talking about Australia as a whole. Have you ever watched most Australian interview ever? Yeah, the guy with the pierced nipples about the party. That's like an old internet classic. Oh, no, this one. Yeah, I've seen this one as well. I thought the one you were talking about was the guy with the pierced nipples, but now I'm remembering he actually wasn't Australian. That was just a dude in California about a party. But yeah, I've seen that one as well. That's just another old, huge one. He was Australian, the Pierce Nipples guy? I'm second guessing myself. I, I originally thought he was Australian, but then I started thinking about it again. I thought he was just a Californian guy. What was his name? Hold on. Now I need to know. What was that guy's name? Corey Worthington. Oh, Co oh no, Corey Worthington. The infamous interview. This is a current affair. Um, no. So, I didn't. why did you? Um, I don't know, it was just a get-together with a couple mates at first, and then we thought we might as well just have a bit of a party, and then it sort of just got out of hand, and, yeah. Well, 500 people turned up, the air wing of the police... Yeah, this force, guy. No, this was huge back in the day. Your neighbor's cars were being destroyed. What have your uh, parents had to say, Corey? This isn't the clip that went viral, though. Where was the clip that popped off? Where's the original? That was it? I don't... Was it? I don't think it was a current affair. What your uh, parents had to say, Corey? 
Um, I haven't really talked to them. I don't know. Talk to them. Are you sorry? Street and I didn't do it. Like, the police said, you stay inside so you don't get in trouble. So I did what he said, so... Why don't you take this opportunity now to apologise to your parents and to your neighbours who have said today that they were frightened? Well, I've already, I've already offered, like, to say sorry to them and stuff when I see them, so... <laughs> I will say sorry now for everything that happened. Why don't you and... take your glasses off so we can see you? Yeah, this is it. And You're right. apologise in. to your neighbours for frightening nah, them. Nah, I'll leave these on. Nah, I like them. They, they <laughs> might be fined $20,000... Are you going to try and pay that for them? Yeah, but I don't think it's fair they'll be fined it because what happened, it was my party, but it could have just been any random person walking in the street doing it. What happens all the time. Your parents were out of town. You put out the invitation. You started This was back it. during the Why Project you X make era. grown-up decision now and accept responsibility, take off those glasses and apologise to everybody that you frightened, to the police... I don't know why it says 2018. Cars have been damaged. It's definitely and before to that. the community who've had to pay for this. Take, your, take off your I'll, glasses and apologise to us. I'll say sorry, but I'm not taking off my glasses. <laughs> why not? They're because cool. They're famous. Because your glasses are famous. Yeah. <laughs> why are your glasses famous? I know. Everyone likes them, so I don't know. I'm not taking them off. You're pretty happy with the way you look and the attitude you've got, are you? Yeah, my parents aren't, but I am. Okay, Corey, we've got to wrap this up. What would you say to other kids who are thinking of partying when their parents are out of town? Get me to do it for you. Get you to do Fuck it for yeah. you. Fuck yeah. Not don't do yeah. it. Nah, get me to do it for you. Best party ever so far. That's what everyone's been saying, so... Well, we've got to go, but I suggest you go away and uh, take a good, long, hard look at yourself. I have. Everyone has. They love it. <laughs> Why does it say 2018? This was literally back in like 2012. This was back during like Project X. Maybe they're just. Oh, they re uploaded it four years ago, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2008? Fuck me. Holy shit. Oh, wait. God damn. Is it Brian Brennan? Never said Manny. Yeah, that's back when everyone tried to throw like a Project X style party. When did Project X come out? I thought it was like 2012. Oh, Project X was 2012. Holy fuck, this guy predates pa Project X? Jesus. What a pioneer. He inspired it. Did he actually inspire it? I could see it. I could absolutely see it. That's awesome. That's so fucking cool. Thanks, Theresa Bluffley. What is Corey Worthington doing now? What is Corey Worthington doing now these days? I don't know. Let's see. Looks like he did Ninja Warrior back in 2018. Is that the last time he's been seen? Is this him? That's This is this year. I'm Corey Worthington, but you can call me Corey Trust Worthington because I'm a changed man. I've left all that behind, except for these bad boys. And that's why Sharecover has asked me to be your guide to help protect your holiday home from harm. We'll begin so with he does commercials? Helping protect against unruly guests. So let's identify some red flags. Guess with bad reviews. Red flag. Guess who asks if they can fit 20 people in a house that sleeps four? Red flag. Guess who have neon... What the fuck is this? So is he... He just does, like... Professional acting? Corporate acting? Thanks for giving sub rogue. Mm. 
Mm, thanks for the resub, J Grizz. Project, S Project X is reported to have been inspired by the story of Corey Delaney, a 16-year-old in Melbourne who held a party in his parents' house after announcing it on MySpace. Is Corey Worthington Corey Delaney? Hmm, interesting. Kid Cuddy cites him as an inspiration for the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the resub, Roxas. Parents didn't have social media back then. Oh my god, man. It was so... The internet used to be a lot cooler in that regard. This is why I think Facebook is legitimately on its way out. Like, the only... No kid wants to be on a platform where his parents have full access to everything he's posting, right? Like, no kid wants to be constantly monitored by their parents. And back in the day with, like, MySpace and shit, like, parents didn't know what the fuck that was. Like, it was so different. Things the bits teach on. I think I've seen that teach on. That sounds familiar. MySpace needs to make a comeback. Well, can, MySpace would do terribly. Like, it's not like MySpace was a great idea. It was just one of the first. It wasn't the first. I think the first is still Zango. But MySpace did it better than Zango. But Facebook then did it better than MySpace. And then Facebook had the staying power. Like, MySpace is a, still a stupid idea. You click on a page, you have your top eight friends. God, top eights, Christ. Then you have a song that plays against people's will on your homepage. It was still stupid. Were you on MySpace? Fuck yeah, I was on MySpace. I wish I could still find my old MySpace profile. It was so dumb. It was so fucking stupid. Thanks to Tier 1 Licking Beans. I've checked archive.org and everything, but they don't have it. I've also checked archive.org for the website I made when I was in 4th grade called coldflames.pixo.com. That was back during the era where the coolest thing you could do was make your own site with all the site hosting. Because it used to just be super easy to do that back then. I've been wanting to find that shit for so long, but archive.org never cataloged it. What song did you have for MySpace? Young Jock. It's going down. <laughs> it was, song was such a banger. Rest in peace, Young Jock. You never hear that name anymore. Last time I heard Young Jock's name, it was because he accidentally Venmoed like $2,000 to somebody that he didn't mean to, so he then asked for it back. <clears throat> they purged the old profiles when they moved to just music yeah but i was still hoping archive.org had it it didn't though you know what? i'll search again though they probably won't have my myspace page but i really do wonder does it have coldflames.pixo.com when did that go down when did Pixo collapse? Mm. No, unfortunately it doesn't have it. Damn, man, fuck. Yeah, I'm on Wayback Machine right now. That's why I'm checking. It doesn't have it.
Lindsay Risa, Daki, Srath, Prita, and the Prime Jessela. No, I can't say I've even heard of that community, t -chan. Run it through Wayback. No, that's that's what I just did, man. It, it doesn't have anything from it. Like, I, I can't visit it. Unless maybe I'm using Wayback wrong, but I've used this plenty of times. I, I don't think I'm fucking it up. Maybe someone in the chat can try differently. It was coldflames.pixo.com. This is Bits Karate. In the Bits Magnus. What was the website like? Well, it was kind of like MySpace. It was just... I mainly talked about RuneScape on Cold Flames. And I had a lot of Lost Prophets music on there. I talked about that in the video I made about Ian Watkins from Lost Prophet, the huge pedophile. I, before he was a pedophile, I, it used to be my favorite band. So that whole website had so much of their music. Before you, yeah, before, before it was known how evil the guy was, yeah. Before it was known that he was one of the biggest pedophiles the music industry's ever had. And we might restock it, Karate, not sure yet. He's a prime beard. Last train home on NFL Street? Yes, sir. Any games tonight? Yep. Just been going over some wackier shit from this week. But yeah, I'll do some games in a bit. I'm gonna go fill up my water real quick. Give me just one sec.
Hey, 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 I'm back. Things to reset down in the prime wild. Things to resub sunny. In the prime Aporo. The resub gunny. <clears throat> Speaking of Wayback Machine, if you want to see some of the lost media, go to YouTube channel. Pirating self-expression. I've worked with them to archive some of your old content. I wish it had some of the older, like the actual old shit I deleted back in 2010. It's, it's just impossible to recover. I don't think there's anyone or any third party that could possibly bring it back. Thanks, Risa Ben Bizik. It does look, all right, pirating self expert Okay, let me do it up here just because I don't know this channel. Let's see. I'll be fine. Okay, let's see. So it's got the tips for rushing. That was... Fuck, what was that? Wow, they've been on the hunt. I actually haven't seen this channel before. Here, I'll bring it up here. Let's see. So they have some of the old broken links. Oh, this is the Pixel Enemy one. This one, actually, I know I can get back. Because I didn't delete this one. Pixel Enemy just folded. This one actually still exists. I'm pretty sure I still have this one. And I also have the other one from Pixel Enemy, which was the Jedi... Um, God, Force Unleashed tutorial. But yeah, it looks like they have some of the broken links. I have all the old links, but you can't bring those back. You can just see the titles. Oh, well, it looks like they have the transcript, which is interesting. That's cool. Here's some Mabo Insano titles and links. Which ones do they have? These aren't mine. Furion announcing 1v1. I never knew Furion. I was just a fan of his montages. Oh, Mabo Insano first Halo 3 sniper montage. Halo 3 Mabo Insano second montage. Fuck yeah. God, I wish I could get these back, man. Ugh. Fuck me, I wish I... Hey! One stars? Hey, who... Why I oughta... Who, who is this? What the fuck? Bro, I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into those montages, you give me one star? Are you out of your fucking mind? What a piece of shit. What an actual piece of shit. Who is this guy? I'm gonna hold a grudge. A-Town. Unbelievable. The one thing I haven't tried is, like, sending the dead links to YouTube themselves. Though I don't think that would do anything to help. Since it predates Google's takeover of YouTube anyway. <laughs> so, it's not like they'd have access to it somehow. Unfortunately. God damn it. Thanks for you said DJ, Blasian, Bull, and Maverick, and Booty. The Prime Smiley. It's worth a shot. I guess, I just don't think it would matter much. Charlie, 2007 to 2008, IG and Naruto review? I've never, I've never done that. They think I'm Mr. Chaz? 
<laughs> their search went a little off the rails here. No, I've never left a review of anything except one time on GameStop. Uh, I don't remember what game. It was some party game. I left a review saying it was fucking terrible. It's the only review I ever left. Yeah, it looks like we, we went a little off the rails here. Naruto... Naruto Break Down the End of Negotiations Review by Charles White. Yeah, it ain't me. I used to make mon or, uh, AMVs, but I never made reviews. Yeah, this is the other one. This is the other one that I have. This one's not actually gone. Now, if they had this one, this is one that I do not have. The Throwing Knife one is still out there. Army of One is not. If they were somehow able to recover that, if they were somehow able to recover that, that would have been extremely impressive. Oh, wait, what? That had 98k views? Holy shit. The views I used to get back in the day were like 98 in total. That one must have went fucking Insano style. Thanks to the resub, Red Arrow. Yeah, probably, yes. It's so sad to see the title but not be able to watch the video. I know, man. You're telling me. Fuck, I wish I had all those old videos. I've tried everything. I tried locating the old computer I used to edit on and everything. There's just no way I'll ever get them back. The regret I'll have to live with. Thank you for the 10 gift subs, Chris. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. I've no, I've tried, I've tried uh, talking to YouTube directly about it. They point blank told me they do not have videos like pre two thousand ten. And the I keep in mind I've been on YouTube since two thousand six on the Penguin Z Zero channel since two thousand seven. The shit I'm talking about is way before twenty ten. Look at the description of the video. Someone found it. Army of One. Actual video link. This feels like a Rick roll. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not taking any chances. Oh, yeah. This is just the direct broken link. I see. That's what it is. It's just the broken link. Because it's gone. No, the knife throwing one isn't gone. Knife throwing one, that one has been up. That one is still up. That's not one of the, the missing ones. Like I said, these will never be recovered. All the deleted ones from back pre-2010, there's just no way. YouTube themselves can't even bring those back. <clears throat> Thanks for your submanlet. It's a fucking shame. Thanks for the prime e money and the resub. Percy and Matt and Squilium. Mm. Only a time machine, I know. Thanks for the resub, Massey. Things of the prime. Irritable. Why'd you delete them? Combination of embarrassment on some of them, and the main reason being the music. I used a lot of just copyrighted music, and back in those days there wasn't a copyright claim. You'd just end up losing your channel. So I just didn't take the chance 
come 2010, I just deleted them all. It was like 500 something videos. Things we give sub cuts to. And very upsetting stuff. Sorry, my most popular, a music video was found. I never made any music videos. Oh, oh, this one's still out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is when I used to... This was actually before I started making my own content. This is when I used to re-upload unsigned rappers' music. I've talked about that a lot. So this one actually has Roosevelt's I'm Fresh, right? I can already tell by this. Yep. This is 2007, baby. So I used to peruse unsigned rappers' music where they used to try and get signed and they used to hype each other up and I'd take their music and upload it for them on YouTube. For how much? Just for free. I don't know. I, I just thought it'd be fun. So I used to make little music videos for it too, just based off of stock images I'd find on Google. Thanks the resub, Paco. Oh, your face is blocking the video? Oh, it's, it's just Google images. Thanks resub, Blue Juice. Like, it was just completely random pictures I found on Google. <laughs> One of them I actually remember putting effort into it. I took the David Blaine video where it was the parody, and I changed the color of his face, and I cropped it out, and I just spun it around a lot. I just made it cycle from, like, blue and green back and forth. This was, no, this like legitimately predated YouTube memes. Like, I, I didn't even know what a meme, well, that's not true, I knew what a meme was, because they're still dancing, baby. But yeah, it was just a literal slideshow of random Google images. Just actual nonsense. Thanks, Resub Cryptic. Thanks for that, Christian. Things that give sub Kago. God damn, every time we get on this topic, I just get filled with hope again that there's still a chance that my old videos are somehow recoverable, even though I know that that's not possible. But I can't help but believe. Oh, thank you the five tier three gift subs, Gabriel. Jesus Christ. Thank you for that, man. Thank you, Gabriel. Every time this comes up, you rapidly go through all the stages of grief. I know, it's so bad for me. This topic is so hurtful. I just really want those back. And I just know it's impossible. Thanks for your sub abstract and Jason. Thanks for the resub, Aaron and... Ryan in the prime to be. And the resub cat girl. Some random guy has them, he's waiting for you to up the price. Nah, I already know that's not possible. All that pre 2010 st all that pre 2010 shit I deleted, you have to keep in mind. 
The most popular channel at the time was Smosh at 100,000 subs. And then shortly after that was Fred. Like, it was such a smaller space. There's nobody that has those videos. YouTube didn't really, like, explode into the mainstream till, like, 09, maybe. And then 2010, obviously, Ray William Johnson had his massive blow-up. So there's just nobody back then that would have saved all of my videos. There's no shot. Is the pram uh, the prime Serena? There's there's this one girl I've been in contact with who made a blog about you in 2010 and says she might have some. If she made it in 2010, there's a zero percent chance I'd already deleted it by then. That's sweet, though. Thanks for resub fragment. Are you talking about Cree? Because that very much would not be in the timeline where the videos would have still existed. Thanks for the tier 2, Jonah. Thank you for that. Resub fragment and wig. We do a moist meter for Andor? Probably not. I still haven't finished it yet, but I will because it's good. Things are resub grim. The resub crazy turtle. Makes the tier one turtles. Am I excited for the new Harry Potter game? Nah, everything I've seen doesn't seem super fun to me. I'll still play it, but I don't think it looks extremely good. All the gameplay is just like showcasing going to class. Oh my. We, we really tried making these low ceiling. Things are you said, Luigi? Luigi got badger sex. Yeah. <laughs> sort of feel. And the first thing I know is the music. Score is amazing with this. Gorgeous. And, yeah. and I'm calling out here uh, uh, this for this change look out into the school shows and putting all oh, those. In. You see what I mean? You know, just again showing you like just these things around Hogwarts. I, I, the. Uh, play. Oh, there's something where you can. Yeah. Closing out our. It's just going from class to class. Um, sense of everyone all of a sudden. Maybe it'll be good. But, uh, I'm not super optimistic. It's like a dance. <laughs> yeah, we really felt like the, um, we really felt like in the movies, there's almost like a, uh, it's kind of like a, <laughs> there, there's this element of kind of like fencing from a very great yeah. distance. These are said soul, tan. In fragment, in Fran. Remember, save the kids' coin. Yeah, what about it? Of course, I remember it. You know, moist meter chainsaw man. Yeah, when it's finished.
Thanks for your sub, Billy. And give sub, Vien. That seems a little, little heavy, Duan. I can watch that on my own, though. Tweet it at me so I can see it. Have I seen Blue Lock? No, nah, Tiana started watching it, though. I don't really watch sports anime. It seems cool, I guess, but not really for me. Mm. Are the two God Slap pictures in your room aligned? They don't seem to be. No, they're not aligned. One of them fell, and I don't feel like taking it off and fixing it. It was such a fucking hassle to put those there. They would not stay. And I do not feel like taking it off and fixing it for that. It'll just stay misaligned. Your opinion on Don't Worry Darling and the Goofy Drama? You talking about all the Harry Styles shit? Don't worry, darling, eating out. Jesus Christ. Okay, I won't look this up. That's the movie, though, right? The Harry Styles movie? Where, like, the director is uh, Olivia Wilde or something. She cheated on her husband with Harry Styles or something. I don't know. It's so weird. Like the Prime Jack and Recep Corn's Bread. <sighs> That movie made no damn sense. I didn't watch it. I couldn't tell you. Did you know Olivia Wilde's real last name is Cockburn? Nope. I did not know that. That is pretty hype, though. You know of the Bjork stalker, Ricardo? Yep, of course. He's the guy who tried to send her an acid bomb. It malfunctioned, but before that, he made that video, and it was the pretty famous now. He was, like, uh, doing some very creepy shit, and then he eventually puts a gun in his mouth and blows his fucking brains out. Yep. I think they resub Kev, Country, and Vipox. He's the guy in the face paint, right? Yep. That's him. Chainsaw Man comes out Tuesday. Yep. You ever think about playing War Thunder with your dad? No, War Thunder's a little hard for me. Even my dad's struggling with the flying in War Thunder. He mainly plays World of Warships now. Thanks for some goofy in NBA. 
Have you been watching the World Cup? Nope. Not really. Have a good night, Meow. You ever watch the EDP interview? I did. Uh, it was odd. There's a new video of DJ Khaled showing off the new toilets Drake gave him. Fine. I know Drake gave him toilets. I didn't see him show it off. DJ Khaled shows off his new toilet bowl he got from Drake. Shout out to my brother Drake Six God. Listen, this is not no regular toilet bowl. My brother Drake just bought me and my family about four big toilet bowls. This is called Let's go. Toilet bowl. If you ever been to Drake's house, his toilet bowls are incredible. Um, Melissa, what's I mean, that is a pretty cool looking toilet bowl. It's like a little, uh, like a pod almost. Like one of those med pods from Prometheus. Some of the features. Um, it has a UV light cleaning system. It got Whoa. a UV light cleaning system. It's remote control operated. It's remote control operated. I like how anytime there's anything in regards to reading, he passes it off to somebody else. I actually don't think he can read. Has he ever demonstrated that he's literate? Because every time I've seen anything involving reading, he passes it off. Like when he got Bob Marley's guitar, he's like, hey, read this. <laughs> and now he's doing it again. Has he ever shown that he could read? Ever? Well, he can't say jewelry, but that has nothing to do with reading. Resub Kim. He can. All right, I'll have to look at DJ Khaled reading soon. I fucking Wait, love Khaled. Um, it's automatic toilets. So it can be open. See this well. this with the light, the UV light, and it got this the, the water too that splashes up, right? Air purifiers. Well. Night light. Uh, night light. Um, um, refreshing air deodorant. You saying? Yep. Uh, uh, this is the Togo. Listen, yo, Drake. I love. I'm not even joking, Drake. We've been wanting this. Me and my queen been talking about getting Todos for the whole house. Not, what is? I don't know what that means. What is that? What does that mean? Heated seats too. Heated seats. This. If you ever been to Drake's house, you know Drake's house is. Toto is a Japanese bidet. So yes, Toto. It's not about the money. It's just about he went and got the best of the best. So he gifted us a few of these Toto toilet bowls and. I'm hearing, I ain't tried it yet, but I'm hearing there's some music involved too. My place, some music. Well, take his shit talk. right now. I want to see you bust Shout this bad boy in. Drake, thank or you. break this bad boy in. This is the most amazing toilet bowl I've ever seen in my life. We definitely put one in the studio for you. For you. Uh, me and my queen talking about putting one in our bedroom. And I think we should put one here in the guest bathroom and the movie room too. But yeah. he sent so many toilet bowls. Yo, Drake, I love you. No, real talk. This might be the best. Thank Give you. ever, like real talk. Anybody knows toilet bowls besides, you know, you know when you do the theory? When you, when, you, when you do the theory. That's when you meditate and reflect on life. True. When you sit down and do the theory, that's when you reflect on life. Ideas becoming. Some of my biggest ideas come from me taking a theory. Now it's real talk. And I got one now that lights up. They didn't believe in us. Theory and it even makes a smell theory and it's like a big theory. Drake, we love you, brother. Fuck yeah, that's a nice toilet. What the fuck was that at the end? Just a picture of him and Drake. Let me see, DJ Khaled reading. Compilation of DJ Khaled mispronouncing words. DJ Khaled spreads positivity by reading to... Okay, here we go. Hey, Asia Sky checking in from the DX Day side, and he joined the students during their reading time, where Khaled took some time out to read a book to them. That's and sweet. The video shared on he got cut from his team, but he loved to win so much, and he was determined. Basically, what he did was not give up. Something that I tell aside every day. Never give up. Keep going. What's your question? 
I have a book in basketball. About basketball? Oh, is this after he finished reading the book? God damn it. Called Michael Jordan, Baby Ballers, Young World, yet another son of a bitch. So overall, it does seem like both. This was—I guess this was after he read the book. Fuck. I mean, overall, he does seem like a legitimately wholesome guy. I fucking love watching him. I just want to know, can he read? This is like the only time there'd be video evidence, but unfortunately it starts when he's done. Look at read mean tweets. Is he in this? God, I cannot sk I cannot stand Kimmel. <gasps> Khaled! What? Yo, DJ Khaled, focus on getting your fat ass in shape, guy. You can't inspire people to be great when you haven't seen your d in years. He can read, let's go! My boy. He just doesn't like reading then. Exit Prime Man in the resub kernel in Ari. Earpiece confirmed. Nah, I think I think the reason he always passes off any reading materials in his videos is just so that way he can focus on his monologue. So he's not bogged down with reading and monologuing. Look up DJ Khaled talks about heartbreak, seen it. I've literally seen everything he's ever publicized about his fucking life at this point. There are very few clips of Khaled I have not seen. Very, very few. I am so deep in this man's lore, I feel like part of his family. Here's the resub Jeeves. New DJ Khaled dance dropped. I didn't see any new dancing videos from him. Yeah, no, this is still two months old. He hasn't done any new boogies. He hasn't busted it out recently. Do sort by. I think these are just re-uploads. <laughs> That's pretty. That fits pretty well. That that does fit pretty well. That's not the actual music he was stepping to, but it, it works well with Khaled's movements. That's Tool. He's not that bad, though. He's got great energy. The moves themselves lend themselves to harsh we scrutiny. But look at his energy. <laughs> you can't beat the energy. God, it's so good. Okay, hold on. Give me one second, though. I got a tinkle. Bear back. Things that resub otherworldly and guppy. 
I'll be back. I'm back. Oh, thanks to Resub Zeal in Atlanta. No, it's such a great game. Glad you liked it, Atlanta. <clears throat> I think the Resub Warrior. DJ Khaled slapping steak. What about just slapping? DJ Khaled slapping meat. <laughs> what? This? I just love everything this guy does. He's just like the best cartoon character. You deserve a day off. Let me take care of you, my son. So delicate. Exit Prime Lot in Tier One Bop, Nuri Sub Rex. Everything he does, I can imagine silly background noises. No, like legitimately, every movement DJ Khaled makes, every dance he does, every action he takes when he gets lost on his jet ski, I can always imagine Saturday morning cartoon sound effects going off. For example, when he gets stuck on his jet ski on a tree, like when he crashes into it, I can absolutely hear like the Ed Ed Nettie like, and then like that crazy explosion sound. That Like his whole life, well everything that he records of it I suppose, actually feels like a fucking cartoon. It is so good.
I didn't get that. What sound? You know what sound I'm talking about. The Edinetti iconic uh, crash sound. If I do sound effect, it's going to be the first thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's just the theme song. That's not the one I was talking about. That one. They use that a lot in the show. And it became a meme for a little while. Is the resub spookiest and sinister? I came from that show. Yep. Came from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yes, sir. Actually, it came from a short film from the same creator that had a sumo. Oh, well, what do you know? Popularized in Ed Ed Nettie, then. Thanks, the resub cannoli. Been a while, man. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, there's been some bangers coming out recently. Thanks, the resub Kali in God Slayer. Cartoon Network had bangers. Best cartoon station ever. The catalog was so fierce. Snoop Dogg just went live for 40 minutes. Most of the time he wasn't there, then left the stream on Madden 23 home screen and then turned it off. Is that your first time watching Snoop? That actually sounds like one of his better streams. You're lucky you had any audio. Here's the Prime Gav and the Resub Stone, ACOG, Kentucky, Twan, and the Gift Sub Carry. Snoop Dogg doesn't know how to t use Twitch at all. I know, and there's something beautiful about it. Every time he goes live, it's, like, the worst thing you can imagine. I don't think he even knows he goes live half the time, so what'll happen is if he even remembers to turn sound on, he'll just play in complete silence. He'll never look at the chat even once, like, glancing at it, and it'll just be him silently playing Madden, and then we got lucky one time he got really mad and had a Gamer Rage incident. And then he left, and the stream stayed on for like six hours with nothing there, just an empty chair. Remember, he's contracted with FaZe. Oh, it's so weird, too. Like, I don't think Snoop even knows he's with FaZe. Snoop says yes to everything. Like, every offer ever, Snoop accepts, it seems, and I don't get why. He doesn't need to. He already has so much money and so much, like, respect on his name. I don't know why he takes all of the weird deals he does. Why the fuck not? I guess. I guess why the fuck not? I think it's the Prime Inc. and the Resub Biff and Producer. He has a feature on that Corey Feldman album. No, wait, what? He's on the Corey Feldman and <laughs> the Corey Feldman album? No way, what? 
Holy shit, you're right. He is credited in Go For It. What? This song was a fucking disaster. I feel terrible for Corey Feldman. Everything that happened to him in Hollywood is truly awful stuff. But, man, his music is something... Something else. What is he doing? Go for it. I'm sure you've seen this clip, by the way. Get it, get it. All she gonna do is quit. Hit the cloud. Tell him. Is that Snoop's whole feature? I didn't even remember that part. I thought that was just Corey Feldman and he pitched his voice down. Is that actually all Snoop does on this track? Because I don't remember any, like, rap moments or anything. That is actually all Snoop does. Man, what a masterpiece. I did not know that was Snoop that did that in the beginning of that track. He's credited for it, you're right. He is credited as a featured artist on that track for that first bit where he says, uh, get it, get it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right. Interesting. Crazy how that all works. He has an actual verse on Spotify. Oh, does he actually have a verse on Spotify? Oh. Things are resub succeed in Mars in Gloves, Xmon and Tier One Sprint. The resub producer. Things are Prime Nuke. Favorite band, my favorite band I keep flip-flopping on. Favorite band used to be Rise to Fall, then it was Cybreed. I think now I can safely say it's probably like Deftones. Deftones I've listened to since, shit, early 2000s, when I was still in middle school, and I've just always, always liked them. Their music is just genuinely timeless. This is Prime, L's ear. You like Paramore? Paramore's got some bangers. I cannot stand the newest Paramore track. I thought that was fucking miserable, but... Yeah, like, Paramore does have some good songs from back in the day. <laughs> remember when Ice JJ Fish was big on the internet? He just got married. Of course I remember. He recently just got married. 
He actually just seems like a pretty well-adjusted guy. Like, yeah, this popped off for him, and he used it to his advantage, and he, he just seems like a good guy. At least I think it was Ice JJ Fish that just got married. I'm pretty sure. You rock into a headshot. Like the tier one soup. It's something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl. Oh, you got me want to tell all them other girls. This is baby making music, baby. Yes, sir. Own this world the moment I seen. I remember this. Well, this was huge. Is this satire? I just always choose to believe it's not. His vibrato is fantastic. No, he's the voice of an angel. Yeah, but of course I know Ice JJ Fish. Like I said, man, I'm I'm pretty happy for him overall. Like, he turned that into a pretty strong career. Seems like a, you know, a well-grounded guy from everything I've seen from him. <laughs> he created hyper-pop. <laughs> Unironically, he was ahead of his time. If he released that, that track now, it would be very popular on TikTok and he would have an audience of people that like enjoy it unironically. They call it like great music unironically. He was just a little ahead of his time. Thanks to the gift sub block. Wouldn't have gone viral because it's not strange now. I know, that's why I'm saying he was like a little ahead of his time. That's a huge stretch. It would be more of a meme sound. No, there's like unironically fucking trash music that has a great audience that loves it to defend it as like real music. Fuck, who was it? Stream told me about this guy before he blew up. And his voice sounds like, like Kirby. Oh my god, what is his name? Ah, oh, fuck. Like AK-40 or something? His music was like... Oh, that's it. That's what it is. 6.45 AR. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we saw this, when we saw this a long time ago, it didn't even have like 100,000 views. It's fun music, but there are people that legitimately think that, you know, that goes hard. Like, 
I'm gonna bop that in the car. So if Ice JJ Fish released that track just a little later, he would have been like revered as a like a popular artist. Because the belief nowadays is like the vocals, the lyrics, they don't really matter. It's just does the beat slap? Is the beat hard? Yes. Okay, then the whole song's good. Thanks for the resub, Gomez. Thanks for the resub, Josh and you. Thanks for the tier one knifed. Yeah, I talked about all the Balenciaga stuff already. That shit is foul. Mm. You... What? Oh, I've talked about Viper a ton. Viper the Rapper has the most albums out of any rapper ever. He has like fucking 2,000 full albums. Though most of the songs are just repeat songs that he, for some reason, forgets that he already released. But yeah, I'm very familiar with Viper. Yo cowards don't even smoke crack. We've talked about him a lot. Is he tier one rattlesnake? Things a tier one Glock. Yep, Lil B is iconic. Lil B has 30 albums with 100 songs. Yeah, that's nothing compared to Viper, though. No, again, I, I pulled it up multiple times. I'll pull it up again because he probably already added like 50 new albums since the last time we checked in. Viper the Rapper. Oh, man, this is a, this is way out of date. But here, in 2019, he had already had 1,500 albums. No, 2020, he had had 1,500 albums. And the albums usually have like 12 songs. Thanks to Resub Jack, Steve, Coffee, and Jason, and Captain. The prime flannel. Things a tier one soupy. Yep, I've talked about the established title stuff already. We've gone through that. What's up with XQC getting banned? That's breaking news. Did XQC get banned? What are you talking about? <clears throat> I don't see anything about it. Thanks to Resub Kieran and Eternaz and Tier 1 Schizo and Resub Freya. Oh, his power went out, so people are saying he got banned. Ah, okay, I see. I see what's happened here. Okay, then. Things to give sub or the bits too thick. And the five gives subs cabbage boy. Thank you for that, man. And the give sub green. No, I'm still gonna play some shit. I just don't know what yet. We're just getting lost in some fun little rabbit holes. I always like talking about goofy music. Northern Boys came out with another track. I already showed you guys that, right? The nobody likes me. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I've already shown you guys this. Northern boys are on the come up. Northern boy stocks through the roof. The 
kicks in the ass. Big Glenn's on smoking weed in his bedroom, texting girls' photos of his cock. Jesus. Fuck. Huh. If a dad comes around, then I'll smash his car with a rock. I love the Northern boys. Patrick's the fucking man. He's gonna sub soupy. And the prime clout, milk, and resub toothache. Put that guy in a cipher. Oh, they already do the cipher all the time. The window frame cipher goes so hard. <laughs> it is so good. I get I get so lost in geriatric rap. It's so fun. It's just so special. He's a tier one loud pedal from the recent Chinchito. Oh, girl, hello, love. Come and have a drink with the boys in the pub. Get lit, get touched with a biscuit, crunch. I'll end this fun when a bandit. It's internet, be my connections. Plus, and I feel in lush. My lady, plus, when I lift that clutch, and I feed them chicks like a baby. Broke a brick, Dan, and dish that crap. Throw back in the molas. Like, is that money in the bag? And no, this is a classic. I love their ciphers. This eagle comes with a kickback, knick knack, paddy whack, bird of a big back. Throw that bone, got chrome in a rucksack. Stepped on a broken stocks, and he got knocked over. The candles are too dark. Home with the windows down. God, just look at Patrick, man. Even when he's not directly involved in the verse, he's still in the zone. And I don't even know what beverage that is. It's just a straight up yellow can with no brand on it. That could just, <laughs> that, that could be anything. God, I love Patrick. Patrick should have his own spin-off solo career, honestly. He's got some pipes on him. And he's got bars. I already play, I've literally played that song like three times. I love that cipher. I think it's their best one yet. Thanks the bits too thick. Their voices are so good. I know. They'd actually, like, they do sound good on the tracks. Like, actually. Have you seen Visiting the Worst Reviewed Chiropractor? No, nah, that is, wow, that is inviting a disaster. Who did that? Oh, Vice did that. Oh, and Rug did it. Wow, actually, quite a few people did this. Love the One Star series. I don't really watch Vice anymore. I, I don't keep up with Vice at all, really. So I can't say I'm super familiar with their newer One Star stuff. That's like actually putting your life on the line if they let him do the neck adjustments. Thanks to Reset Boston. I'll give it a I'll give it a peek. I'm guessing you've never been to a chiropractor before? Never before. These are painless oh, adjustments, okay? I don't treat <laughs> anything. Pull. Pull. Okay. Who's nuts? Who's nuts? Nuts! Wow. I just made you gluten intolerant. So you're not um, evil. Yeah, PSA, uh, if you if you have like pain and shit, don't go to a chiropractor. Just go to physical therapy. This is a little pro tip. Uh, I don't know if we have any chiropractics fans in here, but just do physical therapy. It'll help you much more in the long run. Thanks, Risa Brendan. Yeah, I don't know if this is real or not, because what, what chiropractor would agree to this? 
yeah, I'm a one-star chiropractor. I fucking suck ass. No one really likes me, so Vice is now just going to come in here and make fun of me. Unless this is somehow like a positive spin on it. Like, he may have one star, but he's got great heart. This is a bandit in the two gifts of Sparrow. Most people are saying it's real. All right, I'll take your word for it. Proctor. I'm willing to, you know. Let's see some of these he reviews. Me all over, he said he was done. Caused a vertebrae in my neck to go out from the muscle testing, which caused severe headaches and had to be put back in by another chiropractor. Oh my God! Well, you didn't you you didn't learn your lesson. <laughs> I went to a chiropractor once, and he gave me a slight herniation in one of my discs on my neck. So I've never gone back, and I've held a grudge against chiropractors ever since. They're not real doctors. It's it's a legitimate pseudoscience. Somehow this person had a very similar experience and then said, I'll go to another chiropractor to fix it. Oh my god, what a fucking gamble. Thanks for the gift sub, Wing. I'm willing to, you know, do anything for the cause. So if that involves, you know, letting this person, you know, try out some... Cannot, I didn't go to a bad one. Everyone gives that cope. I went to the number one rated chiropractor in the entire fucking state. He works on professional athletes. A fix it. As they say, that wasn't just some back of the phone book chiropractor. Spine is flexible, but in my profession, one star reviews are not something I can be flexible with. I need to experience the service for myself. I was on a mission. And I have no problem. Now let's take a peek. Thing, can you even call yourself a chiropractor? He totally cheated me. It was still much too early for my own diagnosis on him, so I continued with my treatment. And Jesus, <sighs> that should have broke my index finger. My pinky. What? Push up. <laughs> yeah, that one's like what? if I push me harder. Even the muscles what? in the back are weak. So what we need to do is find out what's turning all of this off. We're going to retest these muscles while you touch certain areas of your body. Okay, what I want you to do is find your belly button for me. Okay, this is the there she is for hormones. I'm going to re-push on this muscle again. It didn't change it. Not the hormone. Because you got to press your hormone button. This is the digestive reflex. Ah. Dr. Rodriguez continued his scan of my body, testing my immune reflex, cardiovascular reflex, my muscular reflex, and no matter where I touched, my muscles were still weak. Didn't I can't, anything. what? Didn't How's that not? Anything. Didn't change anything. Was I just incredibly what? frail? Or was there a deeper cause to my pain? But before we were to give up, he had one last reflex he wanted to test. This is the emotion reflex. Oh, that's, right. that's the most important one. Be this, go, pull. Oh, yeah, there she is. That's a lot of emotion. Push out, go, push, 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 push out. <laughs> Holy shit. Massive difference, isn't it? Certainly. Why are you having the neck pain, the back pain, all of this? Because um, you're emotional. I, mean, I guess maybe could it be like stress related or something? Emotional like that in my stress. Head. Wow. It Obviously. Was quite a revelation to discover that all of my physical issues came from a single source. Everything has a beginning, and stress is your beginning. <laughs> While just knowing this wouldn't instantly cure me, it still was a relief to finally have some clarity. Dr. Rodriguez then had to reset my energy switches. Hey, I all I have to do is reset the switch. This is a really fun full circle thing. You can come up. This is something we used to check out quite a long time ago on YouTube. This was a rabbit hole about like chakra alignment. Not so much chiropractics. It's really weird to see this in a chiropractic setting, though they are both very silly pseudosciences. But the whole idea behind this was always about aligning chakras and, and like, controlling your emotional outburst. Not outburst. Fuck, what, what was it? Not kundalini. God, what do they call it? Does anyone remember from back in the day? They used to do the same thing. They used to have you do the fingers. So you'd put your arm up with your fingers. Then you'd eventually give them, like, the shocker. And they'd start, like, pulling on your fingers in order to reset your emotions. Like it was some kind of hardware. What the fuck did they call it? No, it wasn't. They, they, it had something more than chakra. Was it Reiki? It might have been Reiki. All right, you gotta stop biting that. You can't. You can't be biting that. You can't be biting that.
Okay, right back at it, eh? You can't be biting that. I am fucking back. Thanks if you said Bazanga and Anarchist, that boy, and sniff him and dunce. Just This would help alleviate my poisonous, stressful energy mm. and hopefully in turn cure my bodily pain. So the reset switches are here. You already found them? Yes. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, great. Okay, you can put this down. He's truly a master. All right, so I've reset. The reset switches are very hard to find on the human body. Like, the, the factory default settings are fucking confusing. You, like, it's different on everyone, but the way he was able to pinpoint that on his wrist, fucking masterful. Reset everything. The man's methods were really out of the ordinary, and I actually did feel better after this process. But oh just when boy. I thought he was a miracle worker, he hit me with some unthinkable news. This doesn't do anything. I can't believe it. What a plot twist. I am fucking shocked. You can't be biting that. You can't, you can't be biting that. Why do you want to bite that so badly? I'm back again. Thanks for resub, anti, and denied. And I was doing that. That doesn't do anything. Nothing. Now I didn't know what to believe. But why do I do that? Because for some people, if I just did energy healing just the way I did, they would think I'm nuts. So I had to do this. I had to have them touch here. Touching has nothing to do with anything. It was starting to feel like maybe the reviews were true. This doctor claims to heal you in a day from all illness just by reading your energy. What? Yep, that's energy healing in a nutshell. You're lucky he didn't drop a fucking clump of shungite on your chest and call it a day. He was much more hands-on. At least he touched your wrist. What he's doing with this scam is nothing short of evil and malpractice. We're not... I also love this malpractice. Uh, the fun thing about chiropractics is it's not like an actual MD profession. It's it's that's not like a real doctor. I do think they do have a, like a council of chiropractics elders or something that's supposed to govern it, but it's not like a a malpractice kind of thing because it's not clinical. It's not like a real doctor. It is. It's not. It actually is not. If you look up chiropractics here, actually. Uh, this is like this, I don't know how we always end up in a chiropractics rabbit hole recently. But if you look up chiropractics, it is legitimately listed officially as a pseudoscience. Where can I find, I pulled up the 
PubMed thing on it recently. Let me see if I can get that back up. Uh, I can't get the PubMed one to pop up, but here, I mean, like, pretty much every source, like, here's Cleveland EDU. Chiropractics don't have an MD degree. They aren't medical doctors. They're considered doctors of chiropractic care, but it's not a real doctor. There's no medical school. There's nothing like that. There is apparently like an excel, not accelerated, uh, like post learning school that some chiropractors can go to, but it's not like an actual medical field. Yeah, here. This is actually in defense of doctors, but even in their own thing, it even talks about them not being, like, actual medical doctors. Do they not go to school for it? You can. Like I said, there is schools for it, which is what this talks about. Charles, you're losing this one. What do you- it is legitimately listed as a fucking pseudoscience. What do you mean? This is actually when I pulled up in defense of it, where it even talks about them not being actual medical doctors. This is like in defense of chiropractics being doctors, but even still, talking about them not being medical doctors. What are you talking about? Literally anything, looking up anything, any science-based anything talks about chiropractics being an ineffective, manipulative treatment. Literally anywhere. This is one that I pulled up on behalf of chiropractics. It's bait. I guess it could be. I don't really know. I know chiropractics has become kind of trendy because of all the TikTok memes about it. Is it tier one five finger? We're nothing but energy. Pure energy. This is not a solid. This is energy. If you'd have shown this iPhone to somebody 20 years ago and told them, oh, yeah, we can download a movie in a matter of a few seconds, they probably would have thought you were nuts. Wow. With my belief in Dr. Rodriguez at an all-time low? Nuts. Who's nuts? He brought it back. Who's nuts? He made one final pitch to sell me on his vision. I'm fixing causes, okay? I don't actually heal you because that's not the power that I've got. All I do is remove the roadblocks, and the roadblocks were emotions. Emotions are the cause of absolutely everything on this planet, from cancer to a common cold. Since everything is emotional, what we want to do is we need to change our perspective. If I think it, then I am what I think I am. You want to get well? You want to get better? You need to think positive, be positive. You need to forgive yourself. Uh, all great advice. I think I'll go ahead and book an appointment with a physical therapist to actually fix my injury that I visited you for. Positive thinking's not going to magically heal a fucking injury. Well, I guess some of them, maybe. Over time. I was looking to be adjusted. And instead, he told me I need to forgive myself. The day after he did his energy healing and pretend adjustment, I had a terrible migraine and almost passed out reading a book to my son. Anyway, well, so thank you for sharing this, this all with us. This has been incredible. You're welcome. Uh, I wrote a book on this. <laughs> <laughs> I was about one to two months away from a wheelchair. I could barely walk. I have absolutely no pain. None. Zero. Awesome. Yeah. For sure. I wasn't sure that why would he agree to do this totally cured by just thinking positively, but I was open to it. However, before I could get too focused on positive thinking, I had to get to the bottom of his one star reviews. What we're going to do now is we're going to check for misalignments. Any pain there? 
Not in particular. Beautifully aligned. Before I came in, you know, I was checking out some of your reviews, and I saw people were mentioning, you know, a lot of kind of, you know, negative thoughts. Ah, uh, so I see how this happened. He didn't tell them going into it that you're a one-star chiropractor, and that's why we're here. Okay. Interesting. Um, have you seen some of those? Uh, no. I don't, I don't normally go on and take yeah. a look at those reviews. Totally. Okay, you're going to feel a quick tap here. And is any of this going to result in a crack, or I shouldn't expect that necessarily? You shouldn't expect it necessarily. A lot of chiropractors twist necks and backs, and they want to hear a crack. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that necessarily. Yeah. He's a bit one scarf person, I guess, was trying to say, like, dairy. if a chiropractor isn't going to crack your back, are they a chiropractor at all? The reality Oof. is bones only misalign a millimeter. And if you're wanting a bone to pop, you potentially could be creating a problem for this patient. The one person was even, I guess, trying to compare it to, like, card reading, tarot card. They said a glorified <laughs> card reader. Okay. Yeah, some people say that because they don't understand what's going on. But most Energy healing is a very complicated science. So he just, he's not... He's literally just energy healing. Why is he marketing himself as a chiropractor. Uh, he needs more crystals, though. Or one of those water phones that you tap. Do you think he knows he's a quack? I think there's a level to it. I think there's some people in that field that 100% know it's not effective, but it makes money, low effort, so why not? And then I think there is some people that genuinely believe in it. Like, we've seen a couple. Who was that guy who, well, bad example of someone who believes it. There was the guy that used it as just a means to grope women. What was his name? That energy healer? Fuck, I can't remember his name. We went down this rabbit hole so long ago. The guy that wore the uh, cowboy hat? No, not Lou. Lou's the masseuse. <laughs> Which is a generous term for it. I'll pull up Lou for anyone that doesn't remember Lou. He recently got banned and then unbanned. Actually, can I even pull him up? Hold on. What comes up when I look up Lou? He used this as a way of just groping women in public. He even used to suck on their toes. And called it a uh, massage. Let me see what the first thing that comes up is. Okay, this it should be fine. Okay, yeah. Sucked on their toes. I made a whole video on Lou once, yeah. I wonder if they... His, channel, his original channel got banned because it was him just legitimately groping women in public. He'd even go under their bikinis sometimes on the beach. How he didn't get arrested for that is beyond me. He would literally go under their bikini and honk their tits during his massage, massages. I don't know how he didn't get arrested. But he got banned on YouTube for it. I wonder if there's any of the toe-sucking stuff left. Yeah, here's one of them. <laughs> this one should be okay to pull up on stream. He doesn't go too hard. That's misspelled ASMR. Yeah, this one. <laughs> so, so find out where is the problem, okay? now, These are strangers, by the way. Okay. So These are five gift subs. Alert. Alert the problem. So you know your massage is stay here. To massage, to massage you keep a wall. So very good. When I push you, Things you Prime, know, it's Prime, Uzroth, right? To me it's the Tier 1, good. Kelsey, and the Reset, Luigi, and it's Rachel. Good. Yeah, kind of good. The noise, they have a color, color. You know? The bits of this. So here, just a little fat. So a little expansion, so you know. What's he saying? It's a tutorial. He's giving a full tutorial. Uh, 
You know, I'll skip around to the, the important bits. So you have to make sure you work out the ass cheeks. So you gotta really get in there and fucking cup on it, because those muscles like to tighten up. Those, those puppies will wrap themselves all up like a cobra, get all coiled, and Lou's got the magic touch to get in there and work it out. Sometimes you gotta go into the hole too, because they get real lost. Yep. But the most important part that a lot of masseuse- oh, still in the ass. The most important part a lot of masseuse don't take into consideration is the toes. So you gotta start blowing on the toes here. When does he- when does he do that? Is this the one where he sucks on her toes or no? Am I misremembering? Might not be her. I don't know, I feel like this is the- It might be her. Does he suck on her toes here? Fuck, I can't remember. It's been too long. Alright, be careful, be careful. No, it doesn't look like it's this one. So this one, same thing? You have loose the tools first, okay? Oh no, he's biting on her foot. So, for some reason, he doesn't do her toes here, he just bites on her heel. I don't even remember him biting on her heel. I, I thought this was the girl he sucked on the toes. It's an important part of the massage regardless, it's just he didn't give the full package, he only bit on her heel. You, you can feel the injury. Yeah, here, right? This one you probably, right? I can feel, here. Okay? This one, a little like a... There's the resub like muff. I can't believe she let him do this. This is like the most tame massage she ever gave on his channel, which is why it's still up. Like, even though he bites on her heel, <laughs> he works her heel like an ice cream cone that he's eating. So even though he like bites on her heel and shit, the other things he, were, he was doing was like significantly worse. I'm not exaggerating. Before his channel got banned, he used to go to the like beach and would grope the women going under their bikini. Like, it wasn't an unusual occurrence for him. And they, for some reason, let him. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't understand how he got away with it for so long. But he's still doing it. He still has, like, his third channel. Thanks for the resub, Sean. Does Tommy Wiseau really have a Twitch channel? Yeah, but it's just reruns of some of his other stuff from YouTube. He doesn't, like, actually actively stream on there or anything. Conspiracy channel called Call for an Uprising. What conspiracy do they dabble in? Thanks for resub, Scoopy. Is it a fun one or a boring conspiracy? Why are some of the thumbnails blurred out? Because it's, like, softcore porn. Here, I'm logged in on the other one. The Let me see which ones these are, and I'll tell you what they're about. The thumbnail for the one above this has him, it looks like, <laughs> with his, like, pushing on a girl's vagina. And then, the <laughs> and then the one under it 
as him with both hands on a woman's tits. Also in Central Park, it seems. Huge. That's that's Lou. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. So it looks like they do still have some of his uh, re-uploads here. Huge. Classic Lou. Exhibits five finger. Uh, I am all caught up on Chainsaw Man, yeah. He's a prime pair in the recent pocket. Did you know the creator of chiropractics, Daniel Palmer, said the idea came from a ghost? Oh yeah, no, that's... It, he, that started, it started as like a religious thing. He said he was visited by a ghost about curing ailments or something. And that's where chiropractics was born from. I, I'm familiar with the history. I'm sure there are people out there where, like, those little tiny pops feel good and probably even help to some degree, but it's not, like, a fix for any of the problems. And it never has been. Did you see it? What, the, the ghost? Or Lou? I've watched a lot of Lou. I find it absolutely baffling that he's not in jail for this shit. It is complete strangers that he gropes. Like, he hands out, I'm assuming, free massages to complete strangers and straight gropes them. Like, as you just saw, literally biting that woman's foot. I wish I could find the one where he sucked on the person's toes. I don't know where that one is. Or if that one's still up. Why are we still talking about this? Obviously a creep. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just a fucking fascinating topic. I, I don't know how someone like that gets away with it for so long. Thanks, Risa Wafflix. The ring dinger, the ring dinger guy. Oh, Greg. Oh yeah, Greg been giving out those ring dingers. Thanks the resub, Devsist. I know he did Jack Harlow recently. Of course I saw that. <clears throat> Call for Uprising has stuff like Tom Hanks sold his soul in the Illuminati. Uh, it's pretty standard stuff. Let me see. Does it, for the Tom Hanks stuff, does it use the really fun evidence such as the um, roadwork spray paint? Does anyone remember that? This was a pretty popular conspiracy a couple years ago about Tom Hanks. People believed that he was part of the Illuminati, I think it was. I, I'm a little foggy on the details. But one of the pieces of evidence they used was random spray paint on the sidewalk. It was fucking awesome. Oh my god, wait, this channel has 528,000 subs? Is it a conspiracy channel or is it more like a satire thing? The Illuminati agenda behind the 2020 Super Bowl commercials. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they just came back. The wicked continue to get more bold and more sick by the day. This is how people get into the conspiracies, because he's actually talking about an actual, real, sick, and twisted thing that happened that's legitimate, which is the Balenciaga thing. But then I'm sure it's going to be littered with some absolutely unhinged shit as well. But the Balenciaga stuff is, like, truly awful. 
I want to see the Illuminati agenda. If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the this Illuminati is high effort. have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is hype. What? This I also love the idea that all of these uh, believers have, that the people that are rising up are like the smartest and strongest amongst us. Like somehow they're going to fight it. Let's suspend disbelief. The Illuminati is real or whatever. They're going to somehow fight against the Illuminati that's been controlling the world for eons. These people... Very average, normal people are somehow going to overthrow that? How? Thinks the bit's terrible in the resub. Trying to play in the Prime X Files. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to do a video covering the Super Bowl commercials. For lots of reasons. The Super Bowl, like I've said, it's the most watched show in America every mm -hmm. year. And they use these commercials to influence the audience. You'll see tons of repetition and tons of themes, similar themes throughout all of these commercials because you can see exactly what they're trying to push. Well, now, open my third eye. I want to take a peek. I think the big theme that we've seen, which we're continuing to see, is obviously feminism, which I'll get into. They touch a lot on 5G. They touch a lot on space, <laughs> conditioning people into... The whole Mars hoax that's not real, you know, going to Mars and all that stuff. They that's a lot to unpack off, Rip. Is it going to Mars that the that's the hoax, or is Mars the hoax? Like, the existence of Mars, is that in question, or is it the going to? Because the going to Mars thing, I agree, that probably won't happen for a long time. Elon is way too optimistic about that. But the way he's talking about it makes it seem like he believes Mars itself is a lie. Why not just get a telescope? Or, I'm a fucking idiot, obviously a telescope's not going to show you the truth because it's manufactured by a company, and the company is a slave to the government. So thus, it's all been tampered with, and you can't really see with your true eyes through a telescope. It wouldn't show you the truth. Plus 5G contamination. They even talk about fake news and Flat Earth, for those of you who are Flat Earth fans or Globe fans and love to bicker about that. The first thing I really want to discuss is just this commercial that stood out the most. And this is on my website at callfornuprising.com. I think most people commented about this commercial saying, I mean, this was the most ridiculous one really of all that anyone saw. I don't remember and the commercials. Super Bowl commercials commercial, are trash. Six for six. So they're constantly just saying six, 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 right? They're going six beers. A six pack of six beers, you know, for six people. Devil Everyone gets one. The devil uh, number. We can save the farms and all that kind of stuff. And it's just unbelievably how ritualistic it is because you see them ritualistic doing ritual dances, ritual ceremony dances on the Masonic black and white tile. Nickelodeon Old for Pure Gold introduces six for six pack. Pick up a six pack. We'll help transition six square feet of farmland to organic. Go for a six pack. This. Oh, fuck me. All of this can turn like No! It's right in front of our face! Six square feet. Right? But that's a coincidence, of course, right? As they constantly are saying 6 6. Subliminal. What is the point? Like, let, again, let's assume the Illuminati is real. The devil is out there. 666 six, six summons him. What is the point in even putting it in the commercial? Why? Just just for people to put it together? Like, ah, they thought they could fool us. But, like, who is it? Like, let's say it's real. Who is it for? Like, I, I, am I an Illuminati fan? Like, oh, I get the imagery. Yeah! <laughs> like, I don't think they'd go, like, bother. What would be the point? For themselves? Yeah, but why? Like, I don't see, like, it's not like a convincing argument. They do it for themselves, but now we've picked up on it. 
Surely there'd be a purpose behind it if it's this all-powerful organization that's been controlling the world for generations, powered by the devil. Surely there'd be a reason for it. Not just, eh, we felt like trolling. Right? I thought that that was probably the funniest one of all as far as just being so, you know, just, I mean, so in your face if you're you know that nobody out there who's asleep has any clue as to what they're seeing. They're like, oh, let's help save the farms. Yeah, they really want to save the farms. I'm sure they want, they want to get rid of Monsanto and we're going to save all the farmers. Monsanto's going to go out of business, I'm sure. Absolutely. And look, I mean, he's not wrong. I, I doubt they care about saving the farms. Time to break down the color symbolism and the, you know, the Masonic or Satanic occultic symbols in it. But if you're a member of my website, I have it pinned, the Super Bowl, and a lot of people have posted pictures and they're talking about it, interacting with each other. So check it out over there. I'm going to go through the ones that really just stood out to me that I want to show you because those are the main agendas that I saw. And of course, another thing that they always do, which never gets discussed, is they plant, they put in what we've seen over the you know the last 20 years or so, they would put in uh, gay characters, right, in all these TV shows. So just have one in there, have one in there. So it's it becomes, you get desensitized from Well, now they're doing that with the trans. You know, we see this guy who I've covered where... Oof, okay. That's that's not... not now it's stopped being a, a fun, goofy thing. Now it's just getting... Now it's just getting bad. Exit 5, you subs, Cosmic. I wanted to hear more about Mars being a hoax. Xerisa bathtub in the prime dead word. Eek. I thought it was going to be fun conspiracies. Illuminati is a religious conspiracy? Depends on who you talk to. It's not always religious from what I've seen. And I keep up. I always keep up with the Illuminati conspiracy theorists because I always find it interesting. A lot of them do find it to be more of like a religious thing. But not all of them. Some of them just genuinely think it's like some kind of like rich, powerful cult that is somehow implanting microchips in people. Doesn't really have the religious undertones. Into the three gift subs, Archfiend. Why they want to fuck kids, though? Who, the Illuminati? I don't know. Ask people in Hollywood. Thanks to Risa Andre. Nah, that's a conspiracy, I believe. Well, that's not like a conspiracy. There is so much pedophilia in Hollywood, it's fucking weird. That one's not a conspiracy. That shit is just, like, actual. That has been documented for years and years and years. That shit is foul. There's a resub, Zoomy. What even is the Illuminati? Bro, it's... The Illuminati... Okay. The Illuminati is like this culmination of a ton of conspiracies that all get wrapped under the umbrella of the Illuminati. Think of the secret space program. I've talked a lot about the secret space program, which, of course, Oki made the best possible video on. Oh, wow. This is the secret space program. That's the belief of pretty much anything in regards to fantasy being real. So the secret space program is a group of people that believe that they 
at one point in their lives were spacefaring. Some of them were vampires, some of them were werewolves, and all of them were abducted by the government and fighting Nazis in space. It's a it's a really entertaining cult. It's it's harmless too. Like they just they believe that they used to be elite werewolf astronaut Nazi fighters, and it's very interesting. But the Illuminati is that, but with a, a ton of other beliefs thrown in, and all about how we're controlled by a secret cabal, like a, like a secret group of powerful overlords that people are too blind to see, despite the triangles and the the Masonic imagery. But I consider the Illuminati, a lot of the Illuminati and the secret space program pretty similar. No cult is harmless. Yeah, you say that, but people like Flat Earth and Secret Space Program, they don't, they don't hurt nobody. They just have some silly beliefs. The Flat Earthers prove themselves wrong every time they do an experiment. Like, they're just, they're just harmlessly goofy. Flat Earth is very anti-Semitic. I'm sure certain members are, but the belief that the Earth is flat, which a lot a lot of them preach, is in and of itself kind of harmless. I'm sure there are anti-Semitic people in there, and there's anti-Semitic people all over the place. But I don't think flat Earth as a whole is anti-Semitic. It's just a really fucking goofy belief. Do you know Time Cube? Time Cube is a weird one, too, yeah. Things that reset mind and had. Didn't a guy die because he made a home... <laughs> an immediate interesting counterpoint. Didn't a guy die because he made a homemade rocket to prove the Earth is flat? Yes, uh, a man did tragically pass away in a homemade rocket that he shot himself out of to prove the Earth was flat. That did happen. Yep, that's true. But overall, the belief that the Earth is flat isn't, isn't hurting anyone. It's just, they're very silly. Some of them get a little too confident with <laughs> trying to, to prove it correct that they, they hurt themselves. So it's flat. No, that's the saddest part about it. You already know that guy at, like, the apex of that launch saw the curve <laughs> and he was like fuck that's damn rough his universe melts around him and then impact so he he did not go out happy thanks to the resub other it only went 2,000 feet? I thought it went more than that. It's been a while since I read this story. I thought it actually went pretty high. Two thousand isn't high. It's high, but I it's a fucking rocket. He built a fucking rocket. I thought it went a lot higher than that. I'm more concerned that a random guy was able to build a rocket at home. <laughs> I mean, well, you haven't seen the astronaut farmer? Like, it happens. The f I've seen that tossed around. I don't know how true it is. The rocket guy wasn't a flat earther, just scammed them for his rocket adventures. I don't know if that's necessarily accurate or, accurate or not, but the whole idea behind his rocket flight was to prove the Earth was flat, or at least so he said, and then he died doing it. Remember the guy who built a tank and went on a rampage? 
Talking about my boy Carl. Killdozer? Or, not Carl. Jesus, Marvin. Because that wasn't a tank that he built. He outfitted a goddamn bulldozer and turned it into a tank. You didn't want her biting on the Christmas tree. I don't want her eating pieces of it, but she was very sad. She tried to bait it for it, yeah. No. And she got a bird. You said sunset. Tried to make the dog's bird. <laughs> That's good. He's talking about a different guy who literally stole a tank. That's hype. I don't know who you're talking about then. Who was that that stole the tank? I only know Killed Dozer in that space. He's a resub Harley. Oh, I forgot to close it. Is she playing with it when it was off? Who, Io? Yeah, she just likes biting it. Because it has all those like little lights on it, so she just bites it. Yeah. No, I've already seen I've already seen everything about Killdozer a thousand times. I watched this a decade ago. It's it's just such an amazing story. If anyone doesn't know, I'll play you a quick clip. Planned citywide demolition project. But in a nutshell, Marvin was upset over some decisions the city made, so in order to get revenge, he got the goddamn bulldozer out, outfitted it with three-inch thick concrete, and, uh, well, went on a rampage. You going to bed? I'll come say goodnight in just a sec. ...together by city engineers or construction workers. Just received a 911 call reporting that there is an out of control bulldozer. It's the brainchild of an I remember this. Oh, of course you remember this. This is something you could never forget. They can't tell who's driving it, but there is someone inside. The man inside like, this is some shit out of Twisted Metal. Bulldozer is Marv Hemeyer. As horrified townspeople run for their lives, Hemeyer wrecks buildings and vehicles one after another. He's a bitch, Maddie. The San Diego tank incident. Alright, I'll check it out. And he's ready to take on sheriff's deputies or anybody else who stands in his way. God, it's so good. Every time I... I only wanted to show a clip, but every time I turn it back on, I can't help but watch the whole fucking thing. Because they eventually get, like, construction equipment to fight him. It's so cool. Dozer with two sheets of half-inch steel plating. With a layer of concrete in between. What type do you need? On this day, he seals himself in and takes off on a violent ride. Inside his cockpit, two assault rifles, lots of ammo, and video monitor to help him see where he's going. Exit tier one, soul. Before anyone asks, no one died. He didn't actually kill anyone. He just caused a ton of destruction to the city. I won't spoil the ending though. Hardware store, a concrete factory, even the town hall, and especially the police department. The God one damn. Thing those places have in common, Hemeyer feels he has been wronged by these businesses or the people who own them. He even exacts revenge on the home of the town's former mayor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deputies and SWAT teams try everything. But even armor-piercing bullets can't penetrate Marv Hemeyer's homemade metal and concrete shield. At one point, a yes, sir. decides to put a stop to the carnage. I've had enough of this silliness. Of no more fishy business. To take on the armored bulldozer. How hype is that? But quickly, the operator finds him It's like an actual anime situation. Hemeyer speeds ahead, aiming directly for the blockage. Realizing his intentions, the loader attempts to flee, but the armored dozer gives chase. Ramming the trap. Oh, fuck! 
The loader, no! Authorities seize the narrow opportunity, using the front loader truck to block the dozer in. The civilian operator hurries to safety. Forced to continue ahead, Thanks for some Cameroonie in the bits. Flagging. The bulldozer grinds to a halt under the rubble of a steel building. Its engine has called it quits. Yep. As authorities try to get into the cab of his homemade tank, Marv Hemeyer takes his own life. Yeah. It takes officers several hours. Only one casualty, and it was Marv. The cab. None of the townspeople are hurt, but the price tag on this rampage is about $7 million. You have to wonder. I, I think they also got that information a little off. If I remember correctly, it wasn't so much the engine just giving out randomly. What happened is when he went through that building, it weighed so much that he also busted through a piece of the floor and got a bit of his vehicle caught in some of the basement, I think. I could be misremembering, but then the engine gave out with him trying to free himself from there. But yeah, you have to wonder, if that didn't happen, how much more damage could he have caused to that city? How many more buildings could he have leveled? What did the city do to him to start that? Ah, I don't remember. I actually don't remember. I can't remember the cause. It was land disputes and fines. Huh. How did he die? He shot himself. Oh, right, the San Diego tank incident. I, I actually don't know what this is about, at least not off rip, it's not ringing any bells. Wait, this was on Destroyed in Seconds, wasn't it? It was on Destroyed in Seconds. Man, I... I don't... I don't really remember this at all from Destroyed in Seconds. Man, the quality for this video in 1995 is nuts. Oh! Just like in GTA! And this predates the smartphone era, so we don't have a ton of camera angles here. But at least this cameraman really seems to be about that action. He's following it. This is on-the-scene ace reporting. How do you stop a tank? Man, what the fuck do you mean, how do you stop a tank? The question should be, how the fuck do you get away in a tank? All they have to do is wait. Like, you'll cause a lot of damage, but all they have to do is just wait. You'll either run out of gas, or something. You'll have what happened to Marv, where you, you bite off a little more than you can chew, and you get your shit stuck. Like, all you do is wait. Like, I don't think they're gonna come out here with a goddamn javelin, like it's Call of Duty. Basically what you're saying is you don't stop a tank. No, when it comes to someone in a tank, you gotta treat it like Michael Jordan. You can't stop him, you can only hope to contain him. So you just, you play it safe, you wait it out, you tell people, hey, get out the fucking road, there's a rogue tank out there.
I think Zarisa Reginald in the bit's terrible. No, I can't say I've heard of that one terrible. Let me see the longer footage. Jesus, they got the AC-130 out on them. The tank chase, as it's been called. Uh, that's probably one of the, if not the most dramatic events that have ever occurred uh, that involved the San Diego Police Department. I would say that's probably a, a good assumption. Man, that effortle effortlessly just goes through a car. Stop the tank with kill dozer. Fuck, that'd be crazy. Oof. Just erased it. I'm retired from the San Diego Police Department. Uh, I was an air support unit pilot. And I was the uh, pilot that was flying a helicopter the day the tank was stolen. And when we arrived, what we need to do uh, is saw it. Just to the best of their ability, and they're safe. Like running over these cars away from the city. Get out of the street and go back in your house. You're in danger. Do you see any SWAT equipment that can help us out with this thing? Okay, uh, broadcast where it was going. So, can someone give me the lore? What happened to lead to this? I am at, I am not familiar with the San Diego tank rampage. I know everything about Killdozer. I don't know dick about the San Diego tank rampage. What's what caused this? He used a cheat code. Meth and gold. Man, what the can someone just tell me what the fuck caused this? Man, fuck you guys. I'll just look it up myself. What is all this fanfic? Sean Nelson. He was an American veteran who stole an M60A3 tank from the California Army National Guard in 1995. Oh, man. He got shot and killed by the police. In the week before his tank rampage, Nelson told a friend he was thinking of committing suicide. The following week, he told a friend that Oklahoma was good stuff. In apparent, in apparent reference to the Oklahoma City bombing. Holy shit. Jesus. Around 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, May 17th, Nelson drove his Chevrolet to the Army, California Army National Guard. Uh... Employees at the armory were working late, and the gate to the vehicle yard was completely destroyed, oh, was completely deserted, and was left open. Tanks at the armory started with a push button and did not require an ignition key. The first two tanks Nelson broke into would not start. He lowered himself into the third tank, which was a 57-ton M60A3, and finally noticed a guardsman who approached the tank. Nelson started the vehicle, and with little chance of stopping him, the guardsmen rushed to the phone to call the police. Since ammunition was kept in another building, none of the vehicle's weapons could be loaded or used by Nelson. Well, that's good. I also don't think one man can do that in a tank. I'm not familiar with modern tanks, but I went to that ranch in Texas uh, back in, like, May. That's like a two- or three-person operation to load a tank and fire it. I don't think it's like a one-person job. Ram Ranch. No, nah, yeah, I turned that shit into Ram Ranch. I bought a tank top thinking it'd make me look cool, but it turns out they only had women's tanks, so I just ended up actually making that shit look like Ram Ranch. Thanks for the bits, Cyrus. Okay, so it looks like he did this, I guess, as like an elaborate suicide. Christ. Holy shit. All right, hold on, I'm gonna go fill up my water and take a tinkle. I'll be right back.
There's a prime brew. <coughs> back you are there's the prime mech and potato uh. I stream the paradox game man fuck no what is it prime iris why would I do that so everybody can keep a, a safe and, uh, we were with a video I wouldn't even do that as a joke video pictures of it was creating on the ground. So does it mainly just run over cars? He doesn't target like buildings or anything like Killdozer? Oh my god, he hits like a mean drift here. Never mind, that looked a lot, <laughs> a lot driftier when just 
scanning through. Anybody hurt? It doesn't say anyone was hurt on the Wikipedia. It seems like the only casualty was Sean, the driver. No, that's not a tank. It is a tank. What? What are you talking about? It's an M60A3 tank. And man, this guy, this man put it through the ringer here. How many miles did he go? That's the video we just watched. God damn, even on the interstate. Oh, did he try and hit that? Able at the pedestrian bridge south of Balboa. There's nobody Oof. on it right now. Pedestrian bridge south of Balboa. That would have been fucked. What the hell's your problem, asshole? What is that? What? Oh. GTA sound effects. Damn, if he actually took down that bridge, that would have been so fucked up. Exit sub Grim in the prime parmy. What's worse, Chicago or Florida? I haven't been to Chicago. I think Florida's fine. Charlie's obsession with car chases. Man, what the fuck are you talking about? This is a tank chase. And it's because we just went over the killdozer stuff again. I don't think I ever saw the, the tank stuff. He's a prime senpai. Whew. Said he was going to a hospital because because of a grudge. I saw that as a like a room. Well, rumors the wrong word. They speculated that he may have been heading to the Sharp Memorial Hospital, which he unsuccessfully sued in 1990, <clears throat> and partially blamed for his mother's death. So I think that's probably a accurate theory. Wow. Also, the state of California paid $149,000, the equivalent to $263,000, $65,000 in 2021 to cover property damage. So this whole rampage cost 265k. That is shockingly low. Marv, for example, got up to 7 mil. He didn't destroy any buildings. True, but he went out of his way to destroy as many trailers and cars as he could, and he tried to take down that bridge. He rammed into the bridge structural support. So it seems like he was trying to cause damage. Sean was also addicted to meth. Well, that does that does explain a bit of it. Meth is not one of those wacky drugs. Have you seen Europe police chases? 
No. When I think of a European police chase, I imagine something really sad and slow. So many of the roads I've seen, uh, well, I've never been to Europe, but so many of the roads I've seen into videos we've watched, like with like European cop stuff, they're so tight. Like it, it feels like it doesn't, it's not conducive to a chase. It's more like a mildly accelerated caravan. Watch one. All right, we'll recommend a European police chase. I'll check one out. Do I, if I just type in, will I get something interesting? Insane driving from Italy during a police chase. All right, all right. Perpetrator's been spotted. Can you turn motion blur off? Holy shit, this is disorienting. Thanks, a tier one mock. Okay. The quality here is actually really hurting me. Holy shit, look at these turns though. What the fuck? Not a fan of this POV. Yeah, I don't really like the POV either, but it's just because of the blurriness. Give me, give me someone with some, like, like better quality. Police chase UK-17. <laughs> what was that? What did he throw, a little hammer? Yeah! Yeah, It was a drill? Oh, actually huge pit maneuver. I mean, just bullying this car here, or the van. Oh boy. Not a great advertisement for Under Armour. Tango is in line. Jump lean back towards something there. Speed 40 and 30. Right, right, right. Milligan Road. Low risk. Uh, Pursue authorised me. Pursue authorised. Thank you. They need to upgrade their dash cam quality. Holy shit, this is bad. Stand by. It's high risk. Uh, Taking out a load of cones at the port high towards oncoming traffic. Uh, it's got a cone stuck to its bumper. No contact with uh, other vehicles. Back down to low risk. Ride rail road. Stand by. It's uh, oh, big maneuver. Pavement, uh, across the pavement onto Glen Hills Way. Well, medium risk. Uh, back to low. Overtaking the traffic speed now 80 in a 30. Uh, still no pedestrians. Bad traffic, yeah, really risk. Yeah, these car chases On aren't pavement, it just uh, aren't that good, you know what press. I mean? Left, left, back towards Port Line. It doesn't have the drama left, 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 that a good old fashioned red blooded American car chase has. Interesting strategy. Zero nine, I've been rammed, I've been rammed. 
I'm able to continue at the minute. It's a uh, continuation of the Nuri. Two people have decamped from the vehicle. Thanks for your sub Cubone. Off-road. Now it's faster. Yeah, the two people leaving the car really increased its acceleration. What is this? Oh. Man, this is a disorienting POV. Alright, you're next. Me and Stephanie's vehicle failed to stop me. What in the fuck was this guy's plan? What? Hey, I was just in a car chase, but I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go ahead and stop at the convenience store. What in the fuck? <laughs> what? His plan was to blend in, but they saw him, <laughs> like they knew what he looked like. Thanks they resub... Turpits? Have you seen the video of Santa chasing a hit and run driver on a motorcycle? Holy fuck, what? Santa saves the day. Hit and run offender captured. Is this... This has to be it. Like, this can't be a normal occurrence. Has the hit and run already happened? Must have, must have just happened. Oh shit, Jesus Christ. That actually just hits that woman. What the fuck? Oh my god, now you got Santa Claus and with no reindeers on your ass. He's unencumbered. Holy shit, this guy's a maniac! Oh my god! He's on the naughty list now. Yeah, you bet your sweet bippy he is. Bro, she just hit someone. She she has no reservations about doing it again. He's he's treating it like a like a like an animal. Oh, you just got pranked again! How many times are you gonna fall for this? Oh, that is so convenient. What the fuck? The police just spawned in. No. No. 
Man, Santa's actually like a hero here. <laughs> I like how he's still chasing her. Even though the police are already on the case, he's still doing it too. He just wants to see it through. Typical biker thinks he owns the road. Okay, I will agree. Like, doing the maneuvers he's doing is super douchey. If he didn't have a purpose, he is literally tracking down a hit-and-run driver that just blasted a fucking woman at an intersection. I think at that point he has a pretty fair reason to catch up to this person. Though you could also make the argument he got, a, got her license plate. That could have been enough. But, you know, you can never be too sure. Cop dropped the bike. Did he just dump the bike? Oh, he f <laughs> he fucking dumped it. Wait, how did that even happen? <laughs> what? Oh, it was so cool. You ruined an action movie moment, man. Oh, jeepers. Just slap her with that charge. Breaking an officer's motorcycle. He got his, he got his tootsies stuck. So is she like high on something or like what, what, what is like, what, how did this even happen? Oh, I also forgot his sidekick in the car. I also like, I like how they're just arresting her based on this guy's word. Though he does have, like, a cam, so I imagine it's detaining until they see the footage. But they, they really trusted Santa Claus. They're like, holy fuck, jolly old Saint Nick says she did a crime? All right. I mean, I trust him. Quelqu'un, uh, rue, de, rue de Rivoli, qui traversait le passage piéton. Ouais. Et, uh... Exit tier one. Oh, ouais, ouais, Bump in the recent helio. I, whoops. Overall, I think that was a like a very net positive situation. I think that was W from Santa, despite his dangerous driving. Thanks to the Prime. Aza. What if she <laughs> what if she was trying to catch someone else that did a hit and run? <laughs> oh yeah. That that would actually be like a really deep anime plot. In her pursuit of a hit and run driver, she performed a hit and run. Thanks to the resub, Chris. And the resub shoe. You didn't turn on subtitles? Oh, no, no I, I understood everything he was saying, don't worry. I, 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 I can translate, I understood. <laughs> I think the resub next. Mm. 
Larissa Marshy. Larissa Mayhem. Have you ever heard of Stanley's Parable? Yep, I played Stanley's Parable. He's a pro in BGW. I didn't play through like the newest one though. I started it but didn't finish it. Makes the resub owner of Twitch. And the resub Archfiend. And the resub Gooberry. Have there been any other good police chases? Not in the last few days. We got lucky with back-to-back -back wacky police chases. That's not like a normal occurrence. <clears throat> police chase through the park in Netherlands. Well, that didn't come up. Things are the bits, beaches. Oh, I love PS1 D makes. It was Norwegian. What, what if I just do police chase through park? How often does this happen? Is it Hero Driver ends high speed chase through a park? No. Just search Norwegian police chase. That's it? Just Norwegian police chase? Norwegian police dramatic car chase with armed robbers. This this looks like a park. Start on it, start on it. This is a huge video, I've never seen this. Man, they are about that action though. Oh! Jesus Christ! These are some tight corridors. Ah, uh, they got him. That was easy. Nice. Easy tier one gold knife. That's some Midnight Club shit. Man, what a dead franchise I haven't heard in a long time. But yeah. He's a bit snert. And the resub garbage. Your usual police chase in Ireland. Oh, holy shit. 
Oh god, the boys are back in town. Fuck. Oh god. What is happening? <laughs> Don't pit maneuver the horse. Just give it a carrot or something. They like that. Oh, Jesus, he's drifting. Next, Fred Flintstone's gonna come out here with the fucking foot powered mobile. Things are some Xenix. Pull your vehicle over! That gas boys want to get the fuck off. The dopey being is back. Exit tier one. Scream. Hey, so are we in a police car right now or a normal car? It almost seems more like a police escort. Oh, here's some shit out of Bin Hur. He's a prime Joe and Risa Ble Bleach and Gooch. What what kind of vehicle even is this? What kind of contraption am I looking at? Like, look at that stance. This actually looks like something out of a cartoon. Where, like, when a cartoon character's carriage gets blown up with dynamite and all they're left with is, like, the inside, so they're, like, riding, like, the skeleton of it. Is this, like, an actual thing? It is usual. It's for horse racing. Well, why not just ride on the horse? What What is the point of <laughs> of all of this nonsense back here? You You'd go faster just on the horseback. It's not even like an actual chariot. It's more like a like a unicycle buggy, but with <laughs> two wheels. So not really a unicycle buggy, but you sit like it's a unicycle. It's for bad back riders. Okay, so it's like training wheels for horseback riding? I, this feels like it's a really awful design. Because let's say this horse shits. He's shitting in your face. Like, horse shits can be ferocious. Oh, yeah, it's just going right in your mouth. Like, this is a terrible fucking design. Like, the horse's tail is brushing up against this guy. I love the trotting sound. It actually sounds like stock sound effects. Man, whoever is driving is also equally putting themselves in danger. What the fuck are they doing? Is this a cop or a normal person? Because holy shit. Yeah. 
This is absolutely just a normal civilian. 100%. Also, I've never been to Ireland. These, this road design is fucking weird. You have one lane going this way, while every other lane is going this way? Fucking design is that? That doesn't make any sense to me. No, they're driving on the wrong side? What? There's been like five cars driving this way. They almost got hit by a truck that's driving this way. They drive on the left? No, no, no. That I get. But it's only one lane. Oh, everyone was driving the wrong way. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Literally everyone is going the wrong way. I thought it was just our protagonist. Oh, fuck me. I thought they only had one lane going this way, and it was this one. But actually, everybody was going the wrong way. All because of the horse. Yeah, no, now I see it. Na now I see it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. He's fucking booking it. The horse owns the road now. What is the conclusion to this? What is fucking happening? Open the bridges, Patrick! Drive up there! Boys, boys, I bet she is. Wow. What what just who who what just happened? So now he pulls over? Did the did the driver here make like a reasonable argument? Oh okay, I didn't realize I couldn't do this. <laughs> They're blaming the horse. How could you have done this? The rider was held hostage. It actually is all the horse's fault. Now they stopped to lecture him on the middle of the fucking freeway. What the fuck is happening? How did a crowd gather so fast? That's what I'm wondering. Everyone just stopped their commute to go ridicule this guy? I mean, rightfully deserved for what he did, but how the fuck did they just say, Alright, I'm not going to work. I gotta yell at a man. <laughs> Alright, everyone back to your cars. Everyone back to your cars. You he, he wants to ride a horse around? Let him ride a horse around. Wow. This only has 9,000 views. How the fuck did this fly under the radar? This is the most baffling chase I've ever seen in my fucking life. And there was two of them. I don't even know what, what happened to the other assailant. That man's still out there riding.
Jesus. Thanks, you said Takamizuchi in the prime watch, eh? The bits, bud. They stole his ride. Yeah, maybe maybe someone stole the other guy's horse. That was... That really did feel like an AI-generated video. Like, it felt like AI was experimenting with, a, like, a movie plot. So they came up with a premise. Two guys on horses. High-speed chase. Crowd gathers. They're unhappy. And then they all leave. <laughs> That was just such a weird circumstance. Wow. I don't know how you found this video, but thanks for sharing it. This was, this was not a very popular chase, but it should have been. That is one of the more interesting ones I've ever seen. You missed the horse get stolen? No, I, I didn't. You're talking about this, right? Because the horse, <laughs> horse gets, gets away. Wait, is that a different driver? A different operator? Holy shit, his fucking horse got stolen. How in the, what the fuck? No, wait, it could have been the first horse guy. Like, maybe the other horse guy caught up. Nope, the other horse guy is not wearing a blue jacket. Holy shit, that man just got horse jacked. That shit got yoinked. How? This is so confusing. Where does he come from? Okay, so now that's where the switcheroo happens during all this commotion. So he rolls up. And then he oh okay, and then that's where the that's where blue jacket guy comes in. Yeah, it actually is like a Red Dead online server. Yeah, they must have known each other. Or it's the most polite horse theft of all time. It's called harness racing. That explains almost nothing. Like, the apparatus is still very silly, but yeah, I mean, that could be what it's called, like what it's normally used for. That answers no questions about this whole situation. They are all Irish travelers from the same group who organized an illegal horse race. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, okay. Th that I could uh, that I could make sense of to some level. I still have a multitude of questions, but it, like that's an interesting premise that does answer like some base ones of why. How do you deter yeah, how do you determine a winner here though? And why are they getting mad at him? 
So he gets like a public shaming here, like it's Game of Thrones. If they all organized it together, why are they all of a sudden mad? Because they were bait, they they were betting. Well, this guy won. Like the other guy, he not, he had a DNF. He didn't even fucking qualify. He was out fucking ten minutes ago. The police actually seems to uh, have apprehended this man. He got busted. So then it was all up to him to carry the torch. Granny shifted, not double clutching like you should. True. Amateur. It's a lot of horsepower to be handling. Things a bit terrible. Yeah, I definitely can't show that terrible. Things are resub zoink. You never had your horse. <laughs> Amen, Dom. I think the guy in blue is the cop. Ooh, that can't be right. That was like a, like a 12-year-old boy. How young can you join the academy? You think this is a cop? Are you insane? Maybe a hall monitor, not a cop. He's a resub L L F LFC and the resub Julian. He's undercover. <laughs> He's able to disguise himself as a middle schooler. <laughs> All right. Dad, can I cuff this guy? <laughs> This is just, it is not a cop. We're, we're really stretching here. That's not a cop. What a fucking awesome video. Holy shit. Check the comments. <laughs> Some of them are comments from stream. I'm working on a documentary about Dublin culture. <laughs> Can we have permission to use this video? In the documentary about Dublin culture. Is this a normal occurrence? The horses, yes. The horses I could believe. Like, that's not the most unbelievable thing. The unbelievable thing was the fucking horse chase. Or race, I suppose. This is traveler culture. They race horses in bare knuckle box for money and bragging rights. That's so cool. Like cool in a like a, a silly goofy way. Why do they race horses though? They clearly have access to cars. Why don't they just race cars? What the fuck is the point? Why not just race the cars?
Because the horses are cooler. I mean, the horses are cooler, I guess. Thanks, Arisa Angel. Tyson Fury is a traveler. Is he really? That's interesting. I didn't know that. That was fun. Kind of want to see more Traveler videos now. Are Travelers the ones that do the call-out videos that I used to see quite a few of? Like the, hey, bub. Yep, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, they're the ones that do that? Yeah, this video. So is this like normal traveler shit? Yo, this guy was in the last video. I highly doubt it. That would be a crazy cameo. I don't think he was in the in the horse chase. Sadly, yeah. That's so fucking awesome. But why, though? Three beds. Listen, I was drinking for three months with my uncle Pear. You got out of prison after doing three years. You bet your blow off the day. But I got you months later when I was off the drink. Remember, Bob, the hundred cent when I hit the top snap? And I bet you the hate when you were down your knees crying like a bitch. You said somebody ain't selling, you fucking scumbag. You sleep in the streets of cock and was blankets. You talk about us, junkies and doctors. You're a dead man. I'm going to rip your throat off. No, after that. One hour. 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 One Probably. I don't think he's saying, give me my DNA. I would uh, wager a guess that that's not the insult he's trying to toss out there. Makes the resub Laco. Seems like video camera is public enemy number one. Man, what do you mean? This shit is fucking amazing. Just dudes being guys. Yeah, I've seen these before. I, I didn't realize it wasn't just like, I don't know, just some random Irish guys that got together to make a call out. I didn't realize it was like a whole like culture to, to make the call out videos. We have the exact same, but in France. <laughs> really? What if I do... Scariest traveler call out yet. Listen boys, you're on Lucas' site there today, boys, yeah? We were getting ready to come down to ye today. We were getting ready to come down to you today in the next 20 minutes. You're either going on out of sight, boys. I'm gonna cut every one of you up when I get to you. You're dead! 
Aiden Dairy Group from Blue Blazes tonight, Dairy 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 I'm going to cut everybody. Paddy Paddy man, woman, or child, I'm going to cut Paddy you Paddy up Paddy when I get you. Paddy Jesus Paddy Christ. Christ. If you ever come around my grandfather's place I again, swear with I'm weapons, mother. I go on out with I'm going to cut you. Children. I'm a very heavy grandchild I have. I'm going to do it with all of you. What is happening? What happened? Come back to the site. You fucking champy. What you have to the ground. You come over my house. I'm in the one house. I'm I'm in the one house for the last 16 years. I'm 16 years a minute. Look around here, chap. Look around here. Look around here. I'm 16 years in the one house. You go to my mother and father's place. My mother. You knew you wouldn't get out of it. You will not lie in that house tonight. You wouldn't get out of it. Get shot. Bluey mind dirt. You wouldn't get out of it. Holy. Oh my god. What the fuck? Well. Emotions ran high. What an interesting little rabbit hole. <clears throat> what if he accidentally stabbed his dad? Well, it seemed like it didn't have like a stabby tip. It seemed like it was more of one of the rounded edge knives used for carving. So I think his dad was probably safe, but he, he was getting awfully lax with some of those hand movements. That could have been bad. It was a bread knife? <laughs> was it? I couldn't tell. I think the resub princess. Have you seen Scotland's anthem, Pump Your Ma? I don't know, that sounds really familiar. <clears throat> How many raw eggs do you think you could drink? Not many. I'd be too worried about getting sick. I think it's a tier one Missourium. That guy that's on petroleum jelly in his arms goes live on TikTok sometimes. Yeah, I know. Kirill. I, I I mean it's just He's just addicted to the attention that his synthol biceps bring. Well, it's not even synthol. He just injects veg vegetable oil. Thanks, Reese Abdulli. Kirill. That's how you spell his name, right? Yeah. Here's the Prime Ray and the Resub Zidon. Zidon. Is there more to it? Yep, his arms have exploded twice now, I think. So they exploded once, and I think I even remember making a statement like, yeah, I'm not going to be injecting any more oil. Six months later, his arms immediately started to pop back up because he went right back on injecting oil. It might have only exploded once, though. I'm not entirely sure. I can't be healthy. No, it's terrible for you. Synthol kills. Why would anyone inject oil for the appearance of big muscles? How many of you guys don't know what synthol is? Bubble muscles. Give you shit like this. It's body dysmorphia.
the fourth video. Yeah, that one's not as graphic as the title makes it seem. I don't know if I can play it on Twitch, but his arm has a bit of a pop and it starts spraying out some of the synthol, which is what happens. I also saw a video of a guy, because I went down the synthol rabbit hole because I found it interesting. There was a guy who regretted the synthol, so what he did is he took, what was it? It was something a little bigger than a needle, and I can't remember what, and he poked his shoulder and he just squeezed, and it was just like this eruption of liquid, like a little fountain out of his shoulder. Does it make you strong? No, it actually makes you weaker, as you would expect it to do. Well, at least, like, to the level of this, because obviously your muscles can't contract any, like, as much as they used to anymore. It basically just creates this fucking blockage in your arms. So, no, it doesn't make you stronger or anything. It's completely for the look. Yep, ex it's exclusively for the look. Luxury sub Johnny. Seems pointless. I mean, it is pointless because it doesn't look good. You can always tell when someone's on synthol. It's extremely fucking obvious. And some people have died from it, obviously. Is Risa bougie in the Prime Crimson? Why do they like it? Again, body dysmorphia. Can you fix it? Yeah, you just drain the, the arm, the muscle. It's extremely simple to fix. I mean, it can't have long-term effects, obviously, but you can fix it and just be fine. Can you put it in your dick? I've always wondered that, too. I, f I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, because it, it, it is just, like, vegetable oil. But you'd probably stop being able to pee, and you'd die. But I think for, like, that brief day where you don't kill yourself with <laughs> the urine retention, you'd probably have, like, a pretty meaty cock from it. That would look very silly. Lisa Five, you sub Scorpion. And the resub board. The Synthol era shall begin again. Hey, maybe. It has somewhat fallen out of popularity because of how fucking goofy it looks, obviously. I also do imagine there's quite a few fitness influencers that do at least a little bit of Synthol for some of their aesthetics. Most of the big fitness influencers you see are juiced. I don't think the, they really preach Natty too much anymore because... There's really no reason to lie. I think a lot of them are pretty open about being juiced and on gear. I just wonder how many of them also do like a bit of synthol to help with like more rounded shoulders or something. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. You'd be surprised, man. PewDiePie made a video talking about it, and there were so many comments about why PewDiePie is wrong and some of the physiques he critiqued were completely natural. Like, there, there's just a level to it. For Like, here's one that's controversial, but I don't really see why. This movie was bad. But there's a scene in Thor Love and Thunder, and I'm sure you know what scene I'm talking about, where Thor gets declothed. Uh, I don't... I don't really want to pull it up on stream. But Chris Hemsworth was fucking juiced out of his mind for that physique. And a lot of people seem to think that his physique was still 100% naturally obtained. It wasn't. I 
It doesn't show it, man. I don't. I just don't remember the trailer. It probably doesn't show anything that's bad, but here. There. Well, yeah. There are a ton of people that believe that Chris Hemsworth's physique is 100% something natural through, like, a good diet and hard lifting. You can have great genetics and get something close, but he is juiced out of his fucking mind. That's fake. Well, it's still, this is just from the trailer, so yeah, I'm sure it's enhanced with CGI. But his physique for the movie, still juiced out of his fucking mind. Yeah, let me, let me get a, here, this will be easier. I'll get a picture of him on the set. Uh, these are all from the movie. This is his wife talking about how he was way too muscular for Thor Love and Thunder, and she didn't like it. Where is all the behind the scenes photos that used to float around on Twitter? God, this movie was such a fucking flop. Jesus Christ. Uh, whatever, you get the point. I don't feel like fucking searching around looking at Chris Hemsworth topless photos. Watch the More Plates, More Dates video on it. I haven't seen too much of his content. The stuff I have seen does seem pretty, like, educational. He seems very, like, open and honest about, like, gear and everything. Which I think is great, and he gives a valuable insight from the stuff I've seen. Didn't he get jacked for a Hulk Hogan movie? Oh, Zac Efron? Oh, holy fuck. I, I don't know if that's who you're talking about. You, you just reminded me. This is... What they're doing to Zac Efron's body is criminal. The way I said that made that sound far weirder than I meant it to be. He is on so many PEDs for this role he's got coming up. Who the fuck is he playing? What the fuck is his name? I can't remember the, the character's name. Is it, is it Von Eric? Is that who he's playing? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's who it is. Oh, Jesus. Here, look at this. Oh, my God. You've got the bubble gut coming in, probably from HGH. Like, it's, it's a lot. But he chose to do it. I mean, it's not illegal. Like, he can absolutely make the choice to get to get into the character. I'm just saying, that shit is, like, they've got him on a lot. He's a tier one. Trafal. The prime salty. Skipping leg day. <laughs> I mean... Uh, some people just don't have good genetics for their legs and muscle development, no matter how much they work on it. Maybe some people out there can relate. Is it super addictive or easy to quit? What are you talking about PEDs? I don't think I don't think there's any PEDs that come to mind that are like actually addictive. No. The reason most people don't quit is because they're addicted to the look. 
Like they love the way they look. So it's not so much like some type some type of like a actual addiction. It's more just I love the way I look and I will keep taking this gear. It's more of like a psychological addiction to it because you love the results of it. All natural Efron. <laughs> All natty, baby. Does it make you stronger? Oh my god, yeah. Oh, what the fuck, yeah. Your PRs, ex they explode. Like, it's not... This isn't like Synthol. I, I am shocked how many people aren't familiar with PEDs. Synthol doesn't give you any strength. It makes you weaker, but it gives you bubble muscles, which are silly. But, like, actual gear and PEDs, they make you inhumanly strong. But it comes at a massive price. No, not, like, financial price. I mean, like, price on your body. Tiny balls, all your organs grow, so it leads to a lot of fucking problems. Like, it, it, there is so much that goes wrong. Because obviously the human body's not meant for that. What if my balls are already tiny? Then they disappear. These are some juicy. They vanish. I wonder how many athlete. I wonder how many athletes are using them for that extra edge. Well, you, hear, you used to hear about it all the time in baseball. And I'm sure they've just found ways around the regulation. I imagine it's still very prevalent in a lot of sports. <clears throat> Bet most pro athletes use it. I, I would venture a guess. I would, I would say that's probably a accurate assumption that a good chunk of them do. This is the prime wreck. This is absolutely not true. I... I don't know. Jose Canseco was both the hero and villain when it came to PEDs. God, the Jose Canseco story is just so interesting. I still think it would have been great to hunt Bigfoot with Jose Canseco, but he doesn't do it anymore. Read the USA, read the USADA, bud. Well, I, I don't even know what you're arguing. What that, are you arguing that no athletes use PEDs right now? You're delusional if you think that. Or are you arguing that PEDs, gear, steroids, and all that aren't harmful? Because you're even more delusional if you think that. I, I don't know what you're arguing. You're saying read the USADA. I don't know what that's in reference to.
Have you ever seen Jeff Nippard? He's fully natty. He's been bodybuilding for 12 years. Jeff's great. I actually started eating kiwis because of Jeff. Started as a meme on his channel talking about how kiwis like the only super fruit or the superfood. But then I was like, eh, I might as well just give kiwis a try anyway, even though it's not like a real superfood. It's like, eh, why not? I'll give it a try. I actually like really like kiwis. Yeah, Jeff's great. He does like all science backed lifting. Gives great advice. Thanks for reset, DJ. Jeff isn't natty. I don't know if he's natty or not. That I can't opine on. He still gives great advice. Doesn't change his uh, information. Or are we still staring at Zach? I actually forgot this was up. I was just straight looking at chat. <laughs> we got on this topic because of Kirill, the Synthol Saint. I'm just going to leave it up while we're still on the topic until we go down another rabbit hole. Bro, Liver King is wild. Liver King is wild. Do you believe Liver King has implanted abs? It's quite a controversial topic. I haven't heard this conspiracy. Liver King ab implants. Oh, more plates, more dates talked about this. I will say, when we went down the liver, the liver King rabbit hole... I did say his abs were really suspicious because even when he's sitting down, they are like exploding out of his out of his gut. Like it actually does look like a like a sheet of plastic under his skin. In fact, the thing to compare it to is the uh, human Kindle, who got ab implants. Or uh, wait, was it Superman? Who was it? Was it the human kin? Who the fuck gave themselves the ab implants that we watched? What was his name? I thought it was the Ken doll, but clearly not. You're right, it was one of the Barbie guys. Well, which, which fucking one? No, it wasn't this guy. He was older. I guess it doesn't matter. It's kind of irrelevant. Surgical procedure Liver King used to get ab implants. And this one's... Which one makes the most compelling argument for ab implants? Actually, I kind of want to see this. Oh, oh, he goes to him directly. What are you doing here? Liver King. We're coming to find out what's primal and what's subprimal. <laughs> hey, uh, do you live here? Yes, I do. Dude, yeah. it's, it's great to me too. People have been wanting to collab forever, so. <laughs> you know, um, somebody showed me a video when you said, hey, um, I'll pay my own way. You come to, I'll go to your house. And if, and if any of this stuff is true, if you really sleep on the wood, if you really eat this way, if you, I'll, I'll retract all my other videos. And I'm like, why would I want him to retract the videos? He's talking about Liver King. By the way, I want you to meet the queen. I saw him. It's Kim KO. And then where, where, where are the Liver Boys at? Strike a ride. I saw him back there, bro. I can spot your son. Get your ass over here. <laughs> Kenny KO right here. Jesus, he's so hyped. Guys, he said what's king? Yeah, wait, wait. Liver is king. So, he said something about ab etching. He denied right. the implants, but he said you probably got ab etching. Like wait, wait, oh no, okay. Is this you re relax? So, so here's the thing, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. 
I've been flexing my abs for so many fucking years when I take my shirt off. Here, wait. For, for we me, can turn off all the camera. Let that see. doesn't matter. <laughs> and I can tell people if it's ab etching or not. And, and and I can actually almost sleep. If you're almost programmed with your abs to be a little bit flexed. If they're the same unflexed, then we have oh, a little bit on. of a situation. This is, this, okay. this, no, let me just tell you this. I, I have this hair has never seen. It does. It does look fake. I agree. I see fucking soap ever. What about when you were Brian? Well, when I was Brian, I didn't have this fucking this head of hair. When I was Brian, right? So the former head of hair had shampoo. Of course. Did all the modern day manicured shit, okay. right? My, here's my point. I get out of bed. I put on the same pair of shorts every day, basically. Right? I only Yikes. Wear like <laughs> you. Shorts, right? I don't do shit in terms of grooming. Right? I'm my primal oh, wild free version. Fuck me, you. You think Stinky. this guy's going to get plastic surgery? You think this guy's going to go get liposuction? And, and, and yes, it's your whole brand. Uh, for those who don't know, Liver King completely reinvented himself to be the, the primal guy, like everything archaic and primal. If we don't kill it, we don't eat. Like, he, he's, like, all about primal. And he had this grand shift from being, like, normal guy to primal guy. So I could absolutely believe that while reinventing himself, he's like, I need to really stand out. Ab implants. I could see that. I could absolutely see that. And if I were going to go get liposuction, I'll tell you right now, it wouldn't be on the abs. On the goddamn fucking love handles that hang over their shorts. And then question number two, Natty or not? <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> are you kidding me? I thought we were way past that. Yeah. In terms of Liver King, those guys are way past that, right? There's still a vocal minority of 2% that still ask that question, right? So I'm like, this is sort of irrelevant. It started with the accusation, Natty or not. Wait, for the record, but for, for the record, okay. it's Natty. Right. No. <laughs> What's the point in lying, man? There's not a big. It's not a big deal. It's it's really not. Again, most fitness influencers, most fitness gurus, all of them are juiced. Like there's, it's like you don't have to be shameful of it. There's really no point in lying about it. He admitted it in the past, did he not? I thought I remember him saying that. He, like, has done gear, I I thought, but it's been a while since I went down the rabbit hole. I could just be misremembering, but I think it's, it should be pretty obvious to most people that this isn't really a natty body, right. especially not the way he talks about how he works out. His workouts, compared to, like, a normal split, are actually not that bad. Like, they're not an outrageous amount of work. Like, they're, they're not so far above normal splits that he's able to achieve these crazy aesthetics. I think it's the resub stylish in the prime, please. And then it turned into ab etching. And then, I don't know if you heard, it turned into hair implants. I wore, I, 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 wore, I, I wore a hat all the time in the beginning. Right, and and then I and then I took off the hat because oh, I good, because I got the the hair implants done. Right, <laughs> and, and I don't know if you heard of this one, but in 2018 I went to Singapore. I was the first human to ever have this procedure done. Right, I had gene the editing habit. done. Oh, okay. What? I had, gene, I had my myostatin gene modified. That's the new thing. That I will confirm is true. Everything else Does is. Does anyone a, know that? Is until a, this point? Uh, not, not up until this point. You getting down on organs? Oh, it should be. That's well, probably why I'm not king status. Well, this, this is the thing. Say more princess. But, is he being that, serious or not? I can't. I was that, that like a if joke? You sleep good for three days. What do you think happens to your testosterone? Sleeps, sleeps king. It, it, right it, behind it, liver. It, if you eat like shit, mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen to your testosterone? What? I don't, how did we just go so far off the? What are you talking about with the gene editing program? Let's assume you weren't joking and telling the truth. Wouldn't that then immediately confirm that you would be the kind of guy to get ab implants? If you got a fucking gene editing therapy done to you in order to improve your aesthetics, you would absolutely be the kind of guy to get ab implants then. You can have less drive, less determination, lower ho hormones, fucking horrific neurochemistry, right? If you move like shit, your testosterone goes. If you shield like shit, keep your phone next to your dick and balls, your hormones are going to plummet. <laughs> if you don't get any sun, your hormones are going to plummet. If you bond like shit, if you fight like shit, if your thermal pressures are non-existent, every nine ancestral Your thorm thermal down, pressures? And allows you to express an optimal hormone pro Just 50 years ago, we had 50% higher 
testosterone. And this is in the literature. Go look at that, right? And now the modern day man manicured man is a, is a hollow version of just a guy 50 years ago. If you want to be on all these fucking PEDs, all you got to do is dine ancestral tenants. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> so I that all that that you said, just hop on a cycle. Oh, this is my first time ever trying raw though. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Wow, we, we, we flew a little wild on that one. Didn't really get to the bottom of the ab implant thing, but that was kind of an interesting look at the, the liver king. Thinks he's a super saiyan talking about thermal pressure. <laughs> yeah. That is some anime talk. Thanks the resub turbo. He straight dodged the question. Yeah, but that's pretty that's pretty natural. That's probably the most natural thing about the persona. Obviously couldn't really get into it, like, directly. Hey, let's, yeah, I'm curious to see what More Plates, More Dates says about the the um, conspiracy. They're like 10K each. No, I'm, you're not I'm rocking implants. 100K oh, no, not K worth of... Those are implants? implants? Dude, you think, you think somebody... To get a feeling... And they don't move. Was, that, was he joking? Like, I... I can't tell when he's serious and when he's not. Because, I mean, that that seemed pretty earnest. Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be sarcastic. Okay, I guess I'd need the full context on that then. What's up, guys? Derek, moreplates18.com. Today we're going to be talking about Liver King and his supposed six-pack abdominal implants yes indeed you heard me correctly ab implants it is a real thing that's not fantasy like i said the one of the plastic surgery guys we watched i thought it was one of the ken dolls i could be wrong it was it was the older gentleman he got a six-pack implanted on his tummy and it looked not super dissimilar from the abs that liver king has Bro, we're talking about Vegas Party Podcast with Liver King, Sugar Sean, and Max Crosby. Thanks for the Prime Cosmic. Point. Full send, bro. Here he talks about what I believe to be the first time his ab implants. And he, uh, I don't know, some people might be surprised, some people might not be. But I've been asked multiple times over, I don't know, the last, since I made my first video on the guy, yes, what I think about his unreasonably blocky turtle shell six-pack. Because even when he's just standing <laughs> relaxed, the guy has a very, very, like, turtle shell-esque Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fucking thing going on here. He, he does. Is he does indeed. in the, uh, well, I guess maybe this isn't the best shot, but him standing. <laughs> that is not a good shot at all. I will agree. That that looks like something that would get you banned from Twitch. Those puppies are popping. Those honkers are milking. Standing here, you know, it's pretty. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Then we don't. Need, I was getting a little worried. So if you guys couldn't see that, that's for the best. His pecs actually look like some, like actual C cups. Cut up and defined, but it's like. It's, it's there, and it's cut up and defined even when he's not flexing is the thing that a lot of people are seeing, and just the actual density and fucking depth and just the way they're shaped. Everyone, you know, some people think that it's uh, indicative of some fuckery from a cosmetic surgery perspective, and Ooh. I can understand why. Like, it looks kind of, you know, odd to a lot of people, especially at a first glance. Not a lot of people look like this, and it is, uh, you know, in some aspects, like some angles... It looks pretty, you know, suspect, I guess. Like, here's the classic iconic shot pointing at the fucking um, giant thing of liver. And um, he has the bicep vein climbing. He's got this, uh, I don't know, just put in some fucking work. And saucy is all hell, bro. And the six-pack just True. absolutely... The density, bro. The fucking turtle shell-esque density is next level. Here he is. Tossing a medicine ball over his shoulder, and you can see here <laughs> the core strength of a fucking titan, bro. Here he is holding his hands up. Liver time, bro. And he's got the mean six-pack dialed in, and it is always prominent. So he talks about it on the Full Send podcast, and like I said, I've had a lot of people ask me about it. 
and we're gonna get into exactly what goes into cosmetic surgeries, what's like a reasonable before and after. So is it is it just like a real thing? He actually did do the implants? It's not a debate, it's not a conspiracy? Or like what he did exactly um, to get his six pack. You could oil you should and probably gas. go tarp off too. Well, if I had a sixty like him, I'd have my tarp off too. But These are implants. I got a little, I got a little mini implants. implants. A, lot, a lot of people. Like even when he's just sitting here, you can see the fucking six pack separate. Yeah, like nobody, off. nobody has abs that can really do that. Aside from him and the human Ken doll, who does have an ab implant and made a whole special about it. I like. There's only like a handful of like abs that can fucking do that while in a seated position. Especially with the posture he has here. Like, if you were leaning back, I could see it. Like, if you're leaning back, I could absolutely see, like, some ab separation. But look at his posture. He's leaning forward. He's hunched over. And he has still got very defined implants. It just, it, I think he's just telling the truth Poppin', with this. Bro. People are like, hey, you're fucking shredded. All you got to do is go get implants. Are you, are you trying to do that? So they're, they're like 10K each. No, I'm, you're not I'm rocking implants. 100 no, no, fucking K <laughs> worth of... Those are implants. 10K each, but 100K in total. <laughs> <laughs> implants? implants? Dude, you think Kyle's fucking shocked. He's like, Jesus Christ, I can actually get that? I can just use my goddamn riches to go get look like Liver King? You think, you think somebody, to get a feel on that shit, you, and they don't move. They don't fucking move. They don't move because they're implants, right? That's <laughs> Are they actually implants? No! <laughs> oh, come on! What did he say? I looked at him and he said he wasn't trolling. No, he's not fucking Fuckers. trolling. That's his whole thing. Uh, I just really think they are. Imagine. Everyone gets trolled, you Thank know? you, but this, this is, I guess this is a thing. People are saying some shit like, hey, they don't move. They're implants. You know, like, are you, like oh, it. so they're not implants. These guys are just, like, not getting it. <laughs> Dude, are you all right, all right. I was trying to get a plan. Liver King's like, holy fucking shit, you fucking idiot. Dude, don't mind I'll him, tell bro. you what they are. It's 35 years of hard fucking work every fucking this. day. Never taking Christmas off. You know, yeah, today, but... It's, it's, today is Sunday. It's my Sunday rest day. God's plan, so you, you work out six, six days a week? I work out 14 times a week. Holy it's fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> 14 times a week. So... Anyways, the abdominal, do I think these are implants? What's my personal opinion? Because he could be just yeah, hit me, hit me. fucking teeth right now, of course. It's a lot of people think his MO is essentially. So what do I think? Objectively, just this. We're not going to talk about the other shits. We're not going to talk about anything else. We're talking about the core. Division. Hit me. God, I'm on the edge of my seat. Seen what do you in think? The industry, actually. You know, this is something a lot of people in the fitness industry are a bit That son of a bitch, tell with, me. And it's actually a bit easier to spot. If you know what you're looking for, then you'd think. So for him, like I said, it seems to always be there. He's got the turtle shell shit going. You know, is this GH gut? Is oh, come the, on. Is it the implants or what? If you go back historically, like I don't know how old some of these pictures are, but he's obviously younger here. He is much, he's not, he's jacked still, but he's not as muscular. He's probably gained about fucking 15 pounds since here of lean mass, at least. And, uh, but he's still got that shape here. You know, seemingly the same uh, overall outline, just not as deep. Not as uh, defined, not as blocky. So did he get implants since then? Here's another shot of him uh, with Liver Queen, presumably, going for a nice little stroll after, uh, you know, get that uh, pro... Tell me your professional opinion! Like, you know, handle Damn it. your uh, post-nutrition uh, walks, bro. Here's him flexing in the middle of the wilderness. We've got, the, got a shirt on, bro. Damn, this must be an old photo. So <laughs> the thing is with this guy is... You know, there are a lot of things people will say is fake about him. But the abs in particular. I did a video on uh, Elliot just, Page getting diced Dan, in the fucking tell box, me. Bro. Elliot Page is someone who has had top surgery. If you don't know top surgery, you're getting um, breast removed. It's like gynecomastia surgery, essentially. Um, but shortly thereafter, Elliot also had this, uh, you know, image come out with pretty blocky, abs. And if you go through some of these old pictures of Elliot's uh, pre-transition, you do not see any, you know, semblance of the same. Oh my God, just tell me, wall. does so Liver King know, have real or fake here. abs? It looks pretty feminine, to be honest. It does not look masculine like it doesn't until getting the top surgery. In that news article these and roll was, I don't had Damn uh, it. This, like, actually, um, Apparently there is, a, you know, Abby is uh, like a gymnast. Oh, just tell me. <laughs> I'm like underselling what he does, but he's like a very athletic guy who does like crazy flips and shit. That is 
Not that uncommon in the fitness industry to be proportionally attributes. Okay, here, size. did he say Liver it? King is, has definitely proportionally got more size than Lewis, for example, and his abs are deep and are a genetic strong point for him. His core is obviously something that is, you know, one of his excel excelling attributes. So for me, when I see this and I compare it to what actual ab implants look like, let's go look at ab implants. Uh, Google, I've seen so many. Um, I, I'm really very familiar. Like the, the cosmetic artistry of it has not come far enough to where you would actually be able to resemble like okay so he thinks they're real then fitness model picture perfect experts for ab implants it, you'll be hard pressed to find an example of a guy who went to get ab implants who actually had an outcome that looks proportional to the rest of their physique like even the elliot example elliot of the day but ultimately these guys end up showing up <laughs> what the fuck like is they that? Have like a fucking ego waffle in their stomach or something that's what it ends up looking like um, here's maybe a good example, six pack ab surgery. Yeah. So the one I'm talking about, the Kindle actually looked like the rest of his body. There are ab implants that look normal. Not all of them look like actual badly drawn anime characters. So it, I do still think it's very possible. And I'm starting to lean on the side that maybe he does have ab implants. Great. But again, Just like, are you going to tell get, me like, the deep muscle separation like a Lewis Young or a Liver King, you're probably going to end up with something like, if you try to go for that, you're going to end up with something like this. Honestly, this was a disastrous scenario from, uh, in Canada, actually, I think, wow. of a couple who competed in a bodybuilding show. What and I think they got disqualified, or I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened, but it was uh, got oh heavy my God. scrutiny. It looks like a like grill. Like It looks like a grill. Holy shit, look at how sharp this is. What did they implant them with? Cast iron? Like, holy lord. Oh, wow. Me, because they showed up. And these are like, re like fit fucking individuals. They're not, you know, by any means like slouches when it comes to like being somewhat in shape. Like obviously for a bodybuilding stage, they're nowhere near contest ready. Of course, that's by bodybuilding standards. But for like an average human, yeah, they're they in good look shape. Athletic and like they now work bring out. it to Liver King. What Maybe do you think? Not by fitness industry fucked up standards, but like it seems like he thinks it's look, you know like reasonable. Liver King is not uh, like yeah. actual and abs. Not see outcomes that look anything like Liver Kings or you know yeah. top fitness models in the industry at all. And when you see attempts at it, they're usually botched disasters that people end up shitting on when they show up and show off their cosmetic appearance. So for Liver King, of all the things people call him fake for and all the shit he does, I think the ab implant thing is not true, to be honest. I think they are personally Damn, in the lab. Damn, huge. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is just my, like, objective, you know, experience. He is right, though. Most of those ab implants look like absolute shit. It would be... It, this would be incredible work from his surgeon if he did have ab implants... I just don't know, man. I Like I said, it's just this sitting. This sitting depth on these abs makes no sense. I've never fucking seen it. I've never seen abs that can do that with this kind of posture while sitting. But maybe he's just fucking built different. Maybe he is just built... Well, and he's also sauced out of his fucking mind. That much is very true. He, which also, more plates, more dates said as well. It's easier while leaning forward. Not not from what I've seen. Usually when you lean back, that's when your abs are at their most defined, which is why that normal position for a lot of models is like leaning back. It stretches your abs a bit, or not stretches, contracts your abs a bit more. When you lean forward, it kind of pushes them down. So you don't have that like, like a washboard effect. Yeah, I saw the Kenny KO thing. That's where we started. Just genetics? I guess it could just be genetics. I still lean more on the side of it's definitely had some kind of work done to it. 
Maybe not full implants, but it's got to be. There has to be some kind of enhancement there outside of just the gear he's on. Is the resub wag boat? No, I don't know that one. Terrible. Him already having big abs could have helped with shaping implants. We'll never know, man. We'll never fucking know. Unless his surgeon comes out to expose him for some reason. abdominal etching that was something that was mentioned in this could be it could be is the resub wavy What if he's just jacked? Well, he's 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 roided out of his mind, but he is extremely jacked, obviously. Like roids don't just make you jacked; you still have to put the work in. Would I ever do PEDs? Man, fuck no. What? I'm afraid when I eat bread that's four days expired. You think I'm going to go on PEDs with all that awful shit that happens as side effects from those? Absolutely fucking not, man. You got to be out of your mind to think I'd even consider it. Would you do liver? I'd probably eat... I wouldn't eat raw liver. I'd probably take a bite of, like, liver, though. I've never had it in my life. But I'd, I'd, I'd maybe try it. I'd never eat it raw, and I certainly wouldn't be eating raw testicles like Liver King does. It's disgusting, you'd vomit. Probably. Hold on, I've been holding in a pee for a minute. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Can we check out the ass implants? No, those are huge right now, though. I've seen those everywhere. On TikTok, Twitter, everyone's talking about them. Things are the bits, Marty. No, I can't say I've seen that one, Marty. In the NFL, they have random drug tests up to five times a year. Find it hard to believe everyone uses them and gets away with it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they found other performance-enhancing drugs that they haven't been like fully testing for yet. Or other methods to hide it. Not sure yet, send it. They also denied head injuries for like 40 years, so I don't I don't have a lot of trust in their testing. Yeah, it's true. They did downplay the CTE in their sport for the longest time. That is a good point. He's the bitch Marty in the resub gym. He's a tier one yunk. Usually like every two weeks, please. Next to resub haters. And you're still with Twitch. What's that in regard to? And you're still with Twitch. I don't I don't understand. Things are resub erect. In tub. Check out Miles Garrett in the NFL. Tell me if he's natty or not. I don't know who Miles Garrett is. Man, we've been on this topic for a minute. Damn, this guy's fucking huge. Holy shit. God damn. That's a big man. He's a bit emperor. So are the liver king abs real or not? We'll never know, man. We'll never know. I think they've had some kind of enhancement. I just don't know what. Maybe etching. This shit is wacky.
Please give sub, please. Check out cloud bursting logs. Dude is unhinged. What in chat? What the fuck? Can't wait for the great Christian tribulation when they all get persecuted and go under the guillotine. What the fuck? What? And... Jesus Christ. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Marty. Appreciate the generosity. And the resub sends in and the gift sub boofing. And the resub Wally. Someone's pretending to be Elon on Twitch and scamming people has 22k viewers already? Yeah, it's a pretty common scam. Which category is he in? That one pops up, like, every week. Thanks to five gift subs. Kinji, appreciate it, man. Let me give some bank. Give me some Wally. Those are view bots. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's always botted. I'm just curious what category. Don't really understand how people fall for those. No, I don't either, man. He's a prime pirate. Is Snoop still alive? I thought he had left. Let me see. No, he's not alive anymore. Oh my god. He is. He came back. Right now, they are thinking hard. Nice. Man, chat has been in emote only mode for, <laughs> for fucking years. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I think he turned it on once by accident and has never turned it off. He actually had it off a few months ago. No way, really? I've never seen it with it off. The biggest psycho in sports. I already know what this is. Yeah. Thanks, there you said, Ben.
Ben-Hur Moist Meter win. That was actually one of my first moist meters when I still used the moisture scale, comparing it to moisturizers. I think I gave that one a Sarave. It wasn't a very good movie. Is that how you say it? Sarah V? Uh -huh. I'm not super familiar with the moisturizer. I've only ever used that like once. It was pretty trash. Are you going to be playing Callisto Protocol next month? Of course I will. That's one of like the last games I'm looking forward to on the year. I don't think there's too much else that comes out for the rest of the year that I'm like actively excited for. So yeah, of course I'll be playing that. Ooh, ooh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit, Cryo. Thank you for that, man. God damn, hope you had a good day. Holy fuck. I needed a huge drop. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Cryo. Go. <laughs> and thank you for the 20, Marty. Jesus, thank you. I appreciate the generosity. Those are, oh, oh my god, those are not Tommy Wiseau new videos or anything. What was that name, what was the name of the show? Can't remember what the name of it was. But he just plays this. Hello, TW. The whole premise is he's been kidnapped by aliens and forced to play games. I walk for days when I get, well that's me, haha. Uh -huh. I created myself right now. I get a TW. That's my look weird. So he's just playing these reruns. He's not like actually live doing it. I wish he was. Thanks a Prime Sky Bob. Bits Kinji. Yeah, I'll play Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out as well, though I'm not expecting much from that one. That's way older than three years ago, by the way. It was on Machinima first. Yeah, he did this like ten years ago. It's it's very old. He just seems to have re-uploaded all of them here since the collapse of Machinima. Yep, yeah, this is what he's just pumping on Twitch right now. Nothing wrong with that. But it seems like a lot of people think he's like a like gonna be a Twitch streamer now. Thanks for some ginger beard or gingerbread. Why do you think Black Friday was so dead that voice crack so dead this year? Because brick and mortar's dead. Why the fuck would you ever go to like a physical location when you can just order it online? No, you miss camping in lines with tents to save 50 on a TV. I never did that. I only ever went Black Friday shopping looking for fights. I did go shopping this Black Friday, though, just to pick up a couple things at Best Buy. 
Well, and that's mainly just because Tiana wanted to pick up a couple things at PetSmart and Best Buy was nearby. I never once got to see a fight at Black Friday. I'd always just seen the great videos of good fights from Black Friday shopping, and every time I went out, it was nothing. Never a single fucking fight. Thank you, Tier 1, honey. The five gift subs aim to please. Thank you, man. And thanks to the bits, Monsla. No fights in Florida during Black Friday. Never has been, never will be. At least not the one, not any time in the last six years I've gone Black Friday shopping. Never seen even an inkling of a fight. Which is sad. In fact, I don't think I've ever, well, I've seen like two public fights. But they were, they were bar fights. Actually, more than two bar fights, but I've never seen, like, a shopping fight. I've never seen a Walmart fight. Nothing like that. Thanks, Teresa, Matty Ice. I need to go to more, more Waffle Houses. I've seen a lot of arguments. I've just never seen, like, a full-blown fight at, like, a public spot outside of a bar. Remember when you said you were going to play a game tonight? Yeah, I couldn't think of a game tonight and got really lost in the fucking rabbit hole of police chases and uh, Natty or not. It's not like there's any game I like feel like playing. I was just going to do one that I've already played a ton. We beat Bindi last night. I'm going to give some Marty. Didn't I say I was in a fight once? Nope. I've broken up a fight. I haven't been, like, in a fight. Whew. All right, now I'm starting to get tired. I think I'm going to call it a night. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. All the new subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot. Thank you for subbing. Enjoy the emotes, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. Sleep well. Um, Who's streaming? Forgot to do a raid last night, so I'll do one tonight. Ah, Denkin's playing Dark Tide. I'll toss you over there. I'm not logged in there. All right, see you tomorrow.